And we are live. Hello. Oh, we're live. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Oh, I, I will I turn my, my volume off here. Okay. Bah, nobody wants to hear the echo. Oh, especially not for me. I've got a squeaky little uh, echo. It reminds me of all those, like... <laughs> Call-in shows from radio shows like turn down your turn mic down or your turn, turn down your volume. You... Mm, yeah. So uh, <laughs> today is September twenty seventh, and it's a nice, sunny, peaceful day out. It is. Um, it's it's hot, but it's it, we're in Florida, of course. But it's hot, but it's not hot like it has been. Right. I can tell, like just having the windows open, that it's <laughs> okay. So kind um, of apparently, autumn. it's like been in the <laughs> mid eighties and. To we Florida people, since it's been so long since we've, you know, had 90s, 90s, 90s. Yeah. It feels cool to us. It so feels cold. Like, you can laugh was, at us all you want, but what's the difference? It's, and it's I relative, like, right? Put it, wanted to put longer sleeves on because it was 87 degrees out. Yeah. What? That's just probably what's embarrassing that, that to Nintendo my British guy, I heard a yeah. hey. Hey! Hey! Maybe it's because Girl in the Mitten said hey. Hey! Hey! <laughs> That's the hey word yo. of today. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I said hey. I don't you probably said hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. I love you. That's my. Apparently, that's What's what I do. I don't phrase? realize I say hey yo. H e y o. I sometimes if, if you get a message and it, it says like hey yo, it's, it's genuinely me. Yeah. If you if you get a message and it looks like it's for me, but it says hey yo at the front, that's for Matt. Yeah. yeah. I, it's kind of like how Kermit the Frog says hi ho. I think. Hi ho. Yeah. Hi ho. This is Kermit the Frog. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, um, gosh, uh, oh lots, lots of fun so, today. Uh, three hour. Say, we're gonna do this for three hours. We've yeah, got, it'll be a um, three hour show probably. Um, we've got the raffle going. Raffle. Uh, so yes. while you're listening to what um Jasmine's painting, um, go ahead and hit exclamation Listen, raffle. Can I you mean? show them the the, oh. the print of the week real quick? Oh Jasmine? yeah. Hey. Which is uh, appropriate. It is oh, yeah, now it, autumn. It, it is now autumn. That's something that has happened since last week. It, it, has it is. It's the chill of autumn in the air. Must that be is the chill of autumn. Degrees. Was that eighty whatever that I had to put a warm sleeves on for? But this is our print of the week, and that is Owlin in autumn. And that, that is, is my favorite of the Owlin series. It's a good one. I don't know. If she's my favorite. Owlin Robin is cute, and it's got multiple birdies in it. So I don't know. hard to say. But this one is a favorite, and I will, it's appropriate for this time of year. It, oh, it reminds me of the Renaissance Festival, and that's sad because I don't get to go there this year. Oh, man, I should have I should have burned some of those mesquite bricks. Oh, it would feel like proper uh, autumn. I feel, if I get a break, uh, when we take break, I will. Okay, thank you, babe. All right. We have little wooden things we burn to make it smell nice. Basically, it's incense. Yeah, yeah. but, but it, it's, it's, it's it makes it feel autumny like, here. Wood. I don't know why burnt wood smells like autumn also you know what burnt wood smells like summer to me because then it smells like camping. barbecuing oh, well it also smells like winter to me like yeah my grandma's wood in stove Christ, and, and my dad's house or, huh? spring yes yes so you, you know the burning season burning the all burning the bodies all of the, the people you murdered in the winter yes yeah. they thaw we burn we eat we plant and we, we plant we plant we, we sow we, the seeds no we this we plant we freeze we thaw we eat we eat we're the Pirates of Pendish. <laughs> Wait, no. That's a, it's a parody of the Pirates of Penzance yes, that is in Bob's Burgers. I'm not eat. misunderstanding we Penzance because yeah. I have several friends I live in Penzance. But anyway, Pirate cannibals. Owlin in Autumn is our print of the week. And she's a little owl fairy with owl wings and a cute owl. And actually, she goes on with the birdie theme that I will be continuing on with today. So, Jasmine, because... tell us a little bit about this uh, piece. What is it called? This painting, I'm calling it Ode to Heed, which what is the, probably is a confusing name. Ode it is sort heed. of an homage. I, I am bad at naming things. I had to come up with it kind of on the fly. It's an homage to Martin Johnson Heed, who is one of my favorite naturalist painters from like 100, 200 years ago. Did oh, thank of wonderful you so much, uh, Queen Oh, Tree. was that a magic noise? Yes, thank you. we love thank our subscribers. Magic... Thank you so much. Thank you. But we have, um, I, I, he's an artist who is, he actually kind of made Florida famous because he came to the south part of the United States, central part of the, um, Central America, went down to Brazil, really tried to show people what the tropics looked like before people had traveled as much down through Florida. So, so it's kind of like, America. almost like an, it's like an Audubon thing? Yes. It is kind of Audubon-y, and he is, um, but he, he was a naturalist painter, but he was, I will say this, and I, I didn't even really quite notice it until Thank I was you, printing Angela. this out. Thank you very much. Thank you so hey. much. 
But um, at any rate, so he was would do a lot of the t- um, same things over and over again. I think he was one of the people who like. Thank you so much, Val Blue. Do- We're getting subscriptions goodness. right and left. Hey, just gonna dance and just yeah. Why, why am I even talking about painting? No, um, he would paint a lot of the same things over and over again. And I did not even pick these paintings on purpose, but each one has a pink orchid looking kind of the same, a misty background, and some hummingbirds. So I was invited to take part in a fundraising show in New York that is to raise money for the American Birds Conservancy, not conservatory, that would be a building, (laughs) conservancy. You could put them in there. It'd be like a wonderful, well, no, don't keep the birds inside, let them be outside. Yes. Uh, Laura just got here. uh, Oh, And Laura, she's explaining it. Oh, yeah, they, <laughs> she corrected her. She goes, oh. whatever. What, wait, never mind. She's talking about it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. Jasmine, real quick, how many paintings you got going on? In this studio, in this country? Or what? <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I have like half finished artwork in London I have not even seen since last fall because I have not been able to leave the country because nobody has. And then I've got some pieces in Kansas City. Oh. Here, I think I have six pieces in progress here in Florida right now. And that's not including paintings I haven't showed you guys yet. So it's a lot. I know, and I keep throwing more at everybody, but with good reason. This is one that it's it's for a show that is opening on the 15th of October in New York. And I want to make sure, I, I did the sketch for it like ages ago, and I was like, ah, I'm actually going to finish the painting and send it to New York so it can be there in time for the show. They are actually having a live opening, but they're doing it um, socially distanced RSVP only. So if I won't be there because I can't go to New York right now. But if you are in New York, it's in Manhattan. It's right off 57. It's like right off Central Park. And it's the Rays Gallery. And they are having an RSVP thing. It's free. You can just RSVP. Matt will put the link up to the show in a little yeah. bit. And if you want to go to the show in person, you can. You just got to plan ahead, wear your masks. And they only let a certain amount of people in. And I won't be there, but my painting will be. I'm putting that link up oh. as we speak. And it's several artists. All of us are prize winners from the last ARC, the Art Renewal Center um, Salon, who won the Ray's Gallery Prize. Super crazy cool. Which is a insanely super, good art. It, it's my one of the gosh, things it's... I was like, before I die, I want to win one of these awards. And then I like won one and I was... I, I mean, I couldn't um, believe it. I think, yeah. I don't know where it I was, was but cool. I think you... It was... It yeah, was, you yeah. almost like shot a mat symbol <laughs> to the sky. Yeah, it's a, it's, it is what it is, but it's something I wanted and I was proud of. Anyway, so they they invited some of those people to do paintings to raise money for birds, and I'm doing this one with hummingbirds. And it's an ode to Heed, H E A D E, Martin Johnson Heed, because he painted beautiful orchids over and over and over again. Same darned orchid. And beautiful hummingbirds. I think he probably sketched them like when he was like sitting in Brazil or Florida or wherever and took them home and then painted them. I'm guessing. Maybe they're on plein air. I don't think so. But I think that would probably explain why like half his hummingbirds are the exact same pose and half his flowers are like the exact same flower. But I am certainly guilty of the same thing. Yeah, and I'm I, kind I love of, the layout on this one. I do too. So I've taken some some of the elements that you would see in these um, Martin Johnson heat paintings, such as the ubiquitous pink orchid and some of the hummingbirds. I'm actually painting real hummingbirds that we see here in Florida that I've been sketching, taking photos of throughout the past uh, 15, 16 years I've lived here. So those are going to be the babies I'm incorporating here. But I wanted to put a flower that's like the heed one, and I wanted to put like a little nest. Matt and I had been looking at hummingbird nests online, which are, if you've never Googled hummingbird nests, do it. Or hummingbird babies. They are the cutest darn things, aren't they, Maddie? So, so cute. (laughs) Anyways. It's it's ridiculous. It kind of hurts a little. So I'm taking kind of the color palette idea from the old paintings from um, Martin Johnson Heed, and I am going to put that with one of my characters, put some of my own hummingbirds in it, and put a flower as an homage to Mr. Heed. And hopefully it will help raise money for birdies. So if anybody is interested in the original painting, you can let the people know who to email. Yes, it's an homage and homage. It's a homage, if you would, yes. <laughs> uh, same word, uh, oh, you pronounce it slightly different when you use it slightly differently in a sentence. Yeah. It's kind of like the and the. Really? With the? I say the in front of words that start with a vowel. I don't know how wrong, I do it. or is there have, a rule to it? I have no idea. There's a band, for example, that uh, from the 80s called T-H-E, uh-huh. T-H-E. Oh, uh-huh. The, the. 
The 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 I don't know. I think it's the the. There's also being notice that's tone, two tone, different tone, pronunciations. Yeah. The the. Well, so I've always kind of treated like the and the the way I would do an and a. Like if it starts with a like the evening, because it starts with an a vowel. Woo-hoo. Am I making that up? People are showing off their cool cool little sticker thingies. Cool. Is it the little pictures they have in the yeah. chat room? Yeah, oh, the little yeah. Jasmine pictures. Huh? So, uh, yeah, so that's what Jasmine's working on. So that's what I'm working on. on. I'm working and, um, on a birdie painting for New York. I myself, didn't, um, for on purpose, didn't want to learn too much details, but I appreciated mm-hmm. Jasmine um, explaining it to me. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, so it's well, you nice. Well, know, you know this artist because he's one of my favorite ones. He's also, he was, let's see, he was alive in the 1800s mostly, and it was, he, he's one of the most forged artist. I'm not making a forgery. Thank I'm you so much, sure. Tigger. You're awesome. But because of the fact he had such predictable paintings, he is one of the most forged painters also. Like, some people speculated that half of the Martin Johnson Heed paintings that are hanging in galleries or museums, rather, mostly museums, are actually forgeries because there was somebody who was really good at making forgeries not that long after that and went around selling them. So... In that way, I think that's, I think it's because he was very formulaic, it would be an easy thing to emulate. So that's kind of a, not, that's not a negative thing at all, I'm saying, but it's, it makes it easy to make an homage, if that makes sense. So, um, wh- uh, what the, what the heck was I going to say? Was it about parties? So we, oh, we got our, we, okay, so everybody knows about the raffle. Everybody, okay. knows, everybody knows about the raffle. Oh, uh, yeah. and, oh, that's the raffle prize, too. I was talking about how this is the print of the week, sorry. Alan and Anna. Yes. She is. I will autograph her, and she is. This is a real print, and I will sign it, and we'll mail it to you wherever and you want. And if I accidentally sneeze yeah. on it, I will print another one. Yeah. You might get that one. Maybe, maybe you'll, well, I don't know. It depends, you know, how much we the cats bite it. We actually had two. I was going to say, we actually had one that um, I think we I had used as an example here during Twitch as a prize, and Tigrio, like, stepped on it when it was in the living room and it had a dusty and it had a dusty little and i don't know what that dust is i didn't want to ask for you but <laughs> she, it's like there's a dusty little footprint i'm like mm, no i'm not gonna send that so one. a lot of a lot of uh, familiar faces in the room and helen in spain she says hi i'm back oh hi hey helen what part of spain are you in spain has some good art hey is it our friend helen who's from the uk but is now in spain sometimes i don't know it might be her People can change their names. People can change here. their names, and I know like eight people named Helen at least, so <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, mine's me, kids in the hall. Yeah, the Daves, you know, or the Helens. Oh, the Helens that agree. Yes, the Helens that, that agree. Yeah. Forty Helens agree. <laughs> I moved to Alicante. I did change my name. Yes, and that, so that is our friend Helen. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. She's in Spain now. Cool. And Blob says, uh, a "Nice mild Gaudi climate." Jasmine, yeah. who's your favorite Disney character? This is from Dr. Disney. Oh, hey. Honestly, my favorite Disney character is probably Mr. Toad, but I don't know if that counts because he's a character other than Disney also. It's like saying my favorite character was Alice Okay, in who's your favorite original? Original Disney yeah. character? I don't know. Who are some original Disney characters? I mean, Stitch? <laughs> no. Um, yes. Well, if I were to say something like, Mom, hmm. <laughs> Mine's Mickey I mean, Mouse. I'm, well, Mickey I'm, Mouse is definitely an original man. Disney character. That's an easy one, yeah. Um, but for, I'm trying to think. I mean, I like, I'm so specific and odd in what I like sometimes. But but Mr. Toad would be my specific Disney character. I like the Kenneth Graham Mr. Toad, of course. And I like the Disney Mr. Toad, too. Uh, Helen wants to know what the name of this piece is. Um, I'm calling it Ode. To heed, which looks better on paper than it does when it's um, said out loud. <laughs> o D E to H E A D E, named for Martin Johnson Heed, who is a naturalist painter who did a lot of paintings of hummingbirds and orchids. And since I'm including both in this painting, I'm putting a quick description in the room if yeah. anybody wants to just take a look. And this, I think uh, Jasmine had sent this to someone. I'm not sure. Let's did I post it on Patreon? <laughs> Oops, then you just know. posted it to the pub. No. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Were you just taking a blurb I'd said yeah. about that? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's basically what we've told people. But no, he's um, much like somebody like Darwin or Audubon. He kind of went around taking 
specimens drawing pictures of them and using it to use art to show people what stuff looked you like know, before you had photographs. And there are a lot. Well, and what, what time period was that? This would have been the late 1800s, late mostly 18, mid-1800s. You know, around the, that time, yeah, Jasmine, do you think the... We, I should probably look of, this up first. What's because that? of like people like Heed and Audubon mm -hmm. and even yeah. Roosevelt, around like that, that circle that, that it's not a huge circle but that circle around that 1900 year mm -hmm. was the age where we started to realize about conservancy that's very true that um, uh, it just yeah. seemed like there were a lot of movements and um and i keep hearing about them it's and we have these are beautiful references that we can get <laughs> yeah and there was no other way to tell people about before photography became like super it's true. Well, think about like thing. um the ones that you like, like the um Albert Bierstadt paintings, like of the Grand Canyon and things. Those were him going out west to say, "Hey, people in the East Coast and in Europe, the west part of the United States has a lot of really cool stuff in it. You wouldn't believe it. Look at this." And when you couldn't take photographs and you just describe it to somebody, it's not the same sort of thing as being able to have a talented person go out there and paint a grandiose painting. Laboriously. About it. Yeah, like I can't exactly the effort. Well, it's part of that is uh, people will sometimes credit Bierstadt for like uh, convincing people to make national parks because it's like, hey, there's stuff worth saving out there. And now you just have like bros that have a few extra bucks in their pocket <laughs> who have a GoPro, like, hey, everybody, look, this is the mountain, and it's like, you know, what a difference. Yeah, yeah. Let's it's, put an Instagram filter on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah thank you, bros. <laughs> I wanted to thank know what that you, mountain bros. was. Like. <laughs> How does the raffle work now? One oh, yeah. entrance per person. Well, Helen, um, uh, it requires you to follow the room. So if you're you follow Jasmine, follow rather, the room. it's free, but you just gotta click and, follow, otherwise uh, it won't. You type an exclamation you. raffle like previously, like usual. Yeah. And yes, one raffle, entrance oh, per person, right. and that's how it was last time. Yeah, the only thing that I think is different is that since we do one every hour, it is you have to enter every hour, right? Instead you of just like entering once and like peace out, you know, right. you, you kind of have to. Right. It's a little bit more attentive, a little bit more interactive. Does yeah, that make sense? you know. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she says, oh, okay, that's fine. I'm happy that it met your approval. Yay! I, I, well, I forgot when to we were call deciding, you. And we're ask like, man, is Helen going to be okay? I'm with just this? kidding. Yeah, we're teasing just you, kidding. Helen. We love you. Okay. <laughs> The awesome, amazing wheel is different. Absolutely is different. Thank that you for is. bringing That's that up, new. Angela. Um, we are let's, proud of let's that. Let's show yeah. this little wheel. Okay, we'll, we'll so, show it as an example. Nobody's okay, so really um, explain. Uh, okay. This is our last prize yeah. of the the. Okay, we're not. This is, a, this is a drill. We are not a doing drill. now. Okay. So what we do is we pick a winner first. This is, again, a thin theory. Oh, thank you so much, Akindra. Thank, thank you for you. your subscription. You thank rock. You for and then we spin a wheel. And the wheel yeah. has various prizes on there. The wheel has different prizes. I will so... spin the wheel now. Yeah, and we just and do this, this is... at the end, basically. Just in theory. So our theoretical, theoretical uh, follower would have... What would they have won? A 16 by 20 canvas. Dude. That's a pretty sweet um, prize. <laughs> of their choice. Of, of their yours. choice. Yeah. And that is a canvas print. There's only so much text line. Yeah, there is, there is... And Matt, uh, nobody's won one yet, but Matt says there is a prize on the wheel that is to win an original painting. So. I made it, the chances <laughs> to win that a little bit more tough. Okay. So if you... Not like lottery yeah, tough, the wheel's but pretty like cool. so, poker tough. Okay. Uh, and again, we send it all over the... We'll send it mm -hmm. to wherever your, uh, yeah, we, your house is. We don't is. ask you for anything. No. Don't got to pay we for shipping. We don't ask for don't gotta shipping. Do nothing. No. If you live on the moon, I'm going to visit you. Yeah, I'll deliver by courier. Yes. Jasmine will deliver by Korea. If you live on the moon. If you live next to Korea. Mm. Maybe not North Korea. <laughs> yeah. I like Korea. I, I, oh, yeah, Korea. Uh, I love Korea. Yeah, it's actually right. a really fun place um, to visit. What's that? It, yeah. No, I have not been to North Korea, though. I've just been to oh, South Oh, and Korea. we're not um, uh, likely to anytime soon. Uh, North Korea? No. For a plethora of reasons. That I don't want to get into right now. No. We can't get into it. <laughs> but yes, uh, so we've added new, a few new things, Helen, and it is nice to have yeah, you uh, nice with us. Yeah, it's to have you tuning in from Spain. I guess that, um, I can't just the same time zone as, like, London would be, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. I don't, it's, I don't have these meridians memorized. There's a prime one, and that's it? <laughs> it's in Greenwich? You've heard of it? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Yep. I have Frost Dragon on canvas that has the Aurora. I would love to see the Aurora. Ooh, I would Have you too. ever seen one? Oh, the I Aurora Borealis. Seen, I see what you Yeah, remember. that's in yeah. the background of that painting. Oh, I have, man, we I have, have not. I have never seen the Aurora Borealis. We, uh, I would we're hoping to take to. a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds super well, healthy right We, we were crazy. hoping to have already had taken uh, an Alaskan cruise. Mm -hmm. By now. Months ago. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like... Uh, and I got uh, we were, sick, and then the world yeah. got sick sick and then the world went well crazy. actually it was um yeah. i thought well, before the world got sick i thought it would be a good i thought cruises might be good uh place to recoup yeah I, um, I was so that was that we had a few ideas but then it's like no you're yeah. gonna stay home you're gonna stay yeah. home and it's like, you know, also you're gonna stay better. home maybe we could go ahead i guess see the last Ooh, helen's an hour ahead of the uk yep. oh okay teach those brits how helen I'm like five hours ahead of you. It sounds like I'm way I am ahead like of you. decades ahead of you. So no. See, by the kidding. time the by the time the the British uh, start watching, it's a little bit later in the day. Yeah. So they're not as quick witted as they usually are. They're usually pretty so quick witted. I can keep up with them. But they also might be in their cups a bit, so they might be a bit quick. No. Yes. Ange Maybe says, not. "Oh, not I can already tell that this new painting is right up my hummingbird loving oh. alley." No, we we love hummingbirds very wild. much, and we get them. I I'd say probably a couple times a week. I see them in our yard. We have a bottle brush tree which goes up to the second story, like where it the bedroom should not, is. But it does. And what's that? It should not, but it does. It should not. It, it was supposed to be a bush, we and have now it's like that goes are, up twice. Yeah. A, well, I have a that flipping um hibiscus is like you know over 20 feet tall i swear the hoa lady <laughs> uh -huh. like drove past our house and like flipped me off probably and if you're listening hoa lady we I'm love hurt. you <laughs> i'm hurt but yes we have a jungle in our backyard and no one else in town does we're i don't know i think that we're um yeah. we're the outliers there yeah don't tell anybody be be the jungliest person on your block says yeah i always so the same yes goes. That, that is a good real estate investment rule make sure that your house is the jungliest yard on the block and some of it threatens to start turning in all miss havishammy in the backyard um, it really and does. i've tried <laughs> i i'm a little bit i want to keep it a little bit more tidy than jasmine so it's a little bit of tug and pull um but in the end i think we're both happy with with how jungly and it's Weird nice it is. and jungly. We we get a lot of critters out there too. Yeah, but things. if you if I but were hummingbirds to, are lovely. Nobody, if I were to peek into birds are like little magic. My things. other neighbors' yards, their courtyards there, mm -hmm. they would look like French manicured gardens. Yeah, it, but the, for people who know about celebrations, like most of it looks like it's Epcot or Disney or something. So, if, and our backyard is private, so it's like if I want it to be a crazy jungle, I can do that. So I'm not crispy took a uh, cruise a few years ago and loved it. And it's 1227 here in PNW. Let's Pacific Northwest. Pacific Northwest. Yeah, so that's Pacific time zone. So they're three oh, yeah, hours yeah, see, behind the, us. That's uh, when we took the Western cruise. We were up there. Um, we stopped in. Oh, what American Hennigan? stops did we have? We didn't even. Did we stop in America? We stopped sure, in yeah, San, we Francisco, San Francisco, but we didn't go to Seattle, right? San Francisco not that time. I've been to Seattle Victoria. many times, but not that time. Um, San Francisco, then. We went Victoria. to Victoria. I went to Vancouver. Vancouver, that was, and that's that it. That was awesome. Yeah, and then we just. So that wasn't. Um, it that's was the a, only time I've been up on that side of the up the northern part of the Pacific, like through Canada. Oh, that's Helen's happy. She has geckos in her garden. Oh, yeah. I've noticed um, some. The um. Some so as so here's a comparison. New York City or New York State or New England area up there mm -hmm. is to Florida as England, UK, London is to Spain. It's like they all go there. It yeah. seems like that's kind I, of I thing would to say, do. Yeah, Spain, it's a little bit Spain cheaper. And Portugal, you, you know, you that. got all the yeah. British it's, expats coming there yes. to in for vacation and to retire. In yes, and it's the beautiful. United States, it's like people who live in the Northeast, especially. They come down. Florida is their Spain. You know, it's like they come down Say to Florida to, to retire on vacation this summer. Oh, tell Gabriel night night. Night, Gabriel. You you study for school because that is so important. You don't want to grow up and be. You don't want to grow up and be like me, honey. Be <laughs> like Jasmine. Oh, that's cool. But geckos in the yard are great. I love geckos. If I missed any of your questions, I apologize. And we, uh, we love you, Heather. It's nice to see you. Oh, Heather oh, popped in and hi, she's. Heather. She waved excitedly. Hi. So, um. That's funny because she does that in real life sometimes. They say, like, you know? 
Yes, she does. So, uh, today is September 27th, and you know what I found out, Jasmine? Uh, what, Matthew? (laughs) (laughs) I feel like we're... No, I found out what... Some holidays (laughs) that fall on today. You and your holidays. Uh, um, no. So it was one is, the last holiday one, you talked still, about was pepperoni pizza I day. I still but have no like, idea what it means. Uh, but it fall. Yeah, it's called Gold Star Mothers and Fa- and Family Day. I'm not sure what a gold star is. Is gold star one word? Like it's a com- like a like a brand? Maybe. Like White Star, like the Titanic. I don't know, but Gold <laughs> Star Mothers and Family Day. And it's not China. It's America. <laughs> Uh-huh. Well, they have a lot of funny holidays that are in. Do, has anyone a lot of heard of this holiday? Gold holidays? Star. Gold Star. Well, I know there's like Golden Week. Like, yeah, it, I know Blob. It is definitely Yom Kippur. I was working up to that, but thank you. <laughs> well, Yom Kippur is a holiday that people have heard of. I've not heard of Gold Star. What was it? Mothers well, and Family Day. It's got some competition thing? with the mighty Gold Star <laughs> Family Day. <laughs> Take that, Yom Kippur. <laughs> I don't. I. I don't. Where did you find this at? Is uh, it some like website. A, is it like a list of stupid yeah, holidays you never heard of? Yeah, I think, I think that sort of thing is yeah. interesting. No, I like that Particularly too. when food's involved. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... A, well, I'm, I'm not a mother. Other uh, <laughs> things that fall on today is um, National Crush Day. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> like the soda pop or the turtle? Uh, I don't know. It's under the category environmental. Crush. Crush. Environmental. Like, yeah, like the turtle, the, the, the turtle crush, but I don't know. Like don't you know have a crush on somebody and you're supposed to tell them today. Because environment. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I really don't it's know. It's crush a can day. Oh my oh, god, how many all? cans oh, okay. have I crushed today? Here, I'll, I'll, Maddie, literally, I'll, how many I'll cans have I crushed today? Huh? Every day. We celebrate that day every day at our house. We are so... That's why it's environment, dummy, because it's like... Cans. Yeah. Yeah? Look at all these. Cans. We crush your cans. Crush this can. Mandy, you drip. Oh, my gosh. Stuff on here. Did I really? Uh, it dripped onto here. Yeah. There it is. That's good enough. It was just La Croix. <laughs> <laughs> La Croix. That's basically what I mix with my paints anyways. La Croix. Those are not beer cans, by the way. Those are not beer cans. I don't think... Have we... You had a Bud Light Lime, like... Or no, a lime marita. That's is that the last beer can we've had, probably. <laughs> like yes, this and was I weeks also ago. I yeah. also had a Bud Light at the drive-in. Oh, at the drive-in. Very early yeah. on, folks. I I was good. He's a safe driver. Yes. Yeah. So basically, I watched Carrie with a little bit of Bud Light, and then when we watched Silence of the Lambs, I you know it's a you Bud Light. It stone cold sober you know, after your one Bud I'm, Light. Yeah. Or I hover around one eighty, so I don't think one Bud Light was was bad. Helen says, oh, you, you yeah. two totally bounce off each other. <laughs> That's how physics works. Yeah. Well, it's like... You, hey, hey, what? Jasmine, mass. where are you setting up cameras? That's that's getting weird. It was it? She knows that we're bouncing oh, off each other. that's oh a different God. channel. Oh, okay. Yeah, that we, that's a different. That's a totally different that's channel. That's a totally different channel. So, shame on you, Helen. different Patreon tier. No, um, um, just joking. Uh, ice cream sandwich in the pocket day. <gasps> that sounds unpleasant. <laughs> weird oh, wait Dis- like you put it in other people's pockets when they aren't paying attention like they have a big parka on or something and you just stick an ice cream sandwich in their pocket i don't know i, I feel like i want that sounds like a good prank from or, the stick it, you know if someone's yeah. like in a, in a you know those waiters uh it, that like they're fly fishing shove, like a, a, shove a, a ice oh waiters i thought you were talking about like wait staff at waiters a um yes the big yeah. Pants that look like they're made of plastic. Yes, or whatever, I, I just rubber. you know I shove fifteen ice cream sandwiches down some guy's pants and that would like and just ma- maybe just I'm one maybe I'm a little rascal. Our, what's that? Maybe I'm one of those little rascals. I've just reincarnated. Maybe so. I wonder which little rascal I was. God, um, please don't let me be alfalfa. Okay, you're Robert. Horrible. Okay, you're um. Can Robert, I be just be like Maddie, one of the kids you didn't Robert really know who they were? Blake. No. Oh, and I'm Bonnie Lee Blakely. No. no. <laughs> That's such an awful. Thing. I'm in the room. First date, <gasps> Lost Highway. That's I collect true. Jasmine's Our... Disney canvas paintings. Already own ten of them. Wowza! Holy cow! Which one well, is there which are one is more your coming? Um, yeah. So Doctor Disney has a good question, Jasmine. Oh, of your Disney pieces, thank you. Which which one do you, you find to be your favorite? Of all the Disney ones, I have that. Well, I have 
a favorite one I can't show anybody yet, but I won't talk about that one because that's coming out at Epcot next year um, for the art festival. Um, that's one of my favorites too, I think. Sorry, can't tell you about that one. Um, I'm trying to think. The, my, I really, really like the Haunted Mansion ones I've done. I would say one of my favorites is probably um, Tightrope Girl, the one I did of the stretching portrait from the Haunted Mansion. Oh, it's girl beautiful. Who's, yeah, yeah, I really like that one. And the background is kind of based like up the swamps, like around back behind my house. And it's in a little alligator or crocodile rather. And um, I like that one a lot. I like the Madame Leota ones a lot too, and the Bride one. I, I'm a big Haunted Mansion fan. The Jasmine. Yep. Laura, is, you're clever, Laura. She wants a hint. A hint about the character. I'm going to shut up. That's on you. You know, if you have watched all of our broadcasts over the past month, you could put it together. No. Oh, God. What is this? Da Vinci Code? Yes. <laughs> this is the real Da Vinci. No, but at one point, you said Jazz. A few broadcasts ago, anybody could look this up. I'm not giving away any surprises, Disney, and this was not me saying this. Matt said that I was painting your favorite Disney character. Earlier in this broadcast, you said who your favorite Disney character was. <laughs> so, there you go, <laughs> Laura. Blob Hope <laughs> said, clever gal. Yes. I, I assume that's what you mean, Blob. The yes. <laughs> There's, I saw the hilarious comic where uh, <laughs> the guy kept being clever girl and there's like masks involved and it just kept going and it was always kept going back and forth. Clever girl. I so funny. I, I don't know. What was it's, it that was on Riff Tracks that was like that? Then it wasn't at all, but we I both said know. it at the same time and then the guys on Riff Tracks said it. And, was like, and it was well, so not a dinosaur. I don't know. It's just it's a funny moment that almost that everyone's seeing Jurassic yeah. Park. So yeah. you know, <laughs> I just I don't know. Jurassic Park was man, when that came out, that that blew my mind. Yeah, me too. I was. I, I, I watched now. I'm like, like how did this blow my mind? Also, I had read the book Jurassic God, Park it. probably six times by the time I was eleven or twelve. I loved that book so much, and then I found out there was going to be a movie. I just like freaked out about it. Hey, painting all day has a question. And by the way, they're in Greece. Isn't that cool? Oh wow, very man, cool. Man, I don't know. Does it? Um, painting all day anywhere, says, <laughs> "Hey Jasmine, when you when you paint, yeah. do you listen to music?" I do. Often I listen to music or I listen to audiobooks or I listen to podcasts. Right. I have to have something going on or I'd go crazy. Right. And if it's, uh, often if it's, uh, there's a few podcasts that Jasmine and I both enjoy. Yeah. And Jasmine will play it like all loud in her, uh, all thing. super loud. And, no, yeah. I enjoy it too. Because and I, I can yell hear. when I, when I paint a lot when I'm not on. Like, <laughs> well, well, I was looking at, because I do my crowdcasts now during the week that are for my Patreon people and they don't have sound, right? So it's just like the two pictures. There's a picture here, like the camera there. There's a camera here, and it's just me on my lonesome just painting. And people can watch me paint or whatever. It, no, it's oh, not I like actually that. want to talk about Crowdcast a little bit. Yeah, but, but, but I want to get to what I'm saying. So yes. when I do that, and I was like looking at it, I was like, oh, I didn't know you could watch them after I recorded them. So I was like clicking back. I can't listen to my voice, and that's fine because there's no voice on there. So I was looking at it, I'm like, Matt was already like, Matt wasn't there at the house when I was recording that. And I'm like, who the heck am I yelling at all the time? Not that I yell at Matt all the time, but I look at myself, I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm the only one in that house. What the heck am I yelling at? And if you go back and watch these, you'll see this, Mandy. And I'm like, I am yelling at my audiobook or my podcast. When nobody else is there, I just yell at the voices in the room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jasmine, when there's when yeah. there's no no music playing and there's there's no podcast, do you do you still yell at the voices? <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not likely to say that sort of thing when I'm being recorded, like in, for I don't know legal reasons. No, just kidding. I'm scared. <laughs> not really. Yeah, anyway, not really uh, afraid. Don't. So Jasmine, do a well uh, check on them. Yeah. Queen Tree is wearing the her Jasmine Maleficent T-shirt right now. Oh, that's a so good cool. Shirt. Thank you. Thank you for representing. Thank you. That I is such that. a cool shirt. I'm always kind of in awe of the shirts like that Disney makes with my Disney art because they they handle it all. And they, I see them like pop up places just like how anybody else would. I don't know ahead of time, but I'll be if I'm like at a theme park or something. Like, oh my god, it's got this one and it's got my painting on it and it's sparkly. You know, it's kind of funny when I see that. And I remember Maleficent when I saw it and she had like little is it purple and green sparklies on the shirt. Uh, I guess we true. No, she's wearing it. But um, 
it, it's got little glitter on it. I didn't know that it was going to have that. And then, when, but it was funny because I like got to the signing and everything. And they're like, Jasmine's here. I'm like, oh, the Maleficent shirt has glitter on it instead of saying, thank you for having me, everybody. You know, that sort of thing. But yes. uh, but that's kind of exciting for me, too. So, um, yeah. uh, Blob says, yeah, seeing it in a theater as a youngster was mind blowing. And Helen, this is funny, Jasmine. Uh-huh. Uh, remember when we first met Helen? Yes. And that I remember you were gallery. sunburnt. Oh. Yes. And and you what's funny thing. is we had told her before she was coming to Florida to, to bring... watch out. A lot of our UK friends, when they come to Florida, get sunburned if they are fair-skinned folks. And they yes. sometimes so are. You get, so, yeah. you get the... Oh. All right. So, Helen uh, says, I watched Jurassic Park for the first time ever floating in the pool at the Cabana Bay Hotel on the holiday I came to meet you. Oh, my. Goodness. Well, that is that is cool. That's weird that, that we're is talking just about lovely. today. That is lovely. But we were happy that we got to meet you. Yes. And we'll probably run into her again. I'm sure. If not in the UK, then perhaps in Spain. Uh, Dr. Disney says, What inspired you to paint your characters with large eyes? I absolutely love them. Thank you. Um, well... I, well, when you're painting depictions of human-looking things, the eyes are often the first thing you look at if you're a human-type thing when you're looking at it. And that's kind of sets the tone, at least in my work, for a lot of the rest of the painting. And the eyes are going to be expressive. If I make them big, it can give an exaggerated sense, sense of the emotion that I'm trying to put into the piece. So it's, it's, it's almost like using the proportions of like a cartoon or a comic or anime or something that is supposed to look exaggerated but giving Can you a show level a close of realism up of the eye? To it. Sure. Can you do that? Of, of these eyes? Yeah. Sure. Oh, I, sh- I I guess I can do that now with my zoom. I'm not very far on this piece yet. Oh, I'd like to see what they look like with unfinished eyes. Yeah, you can see I I I've drawn in Kind of where I, I put some kind of, it's not white paint, it's titan, t- titan buff paint. Now, are I, those going to show through the painting? Is there a layer going to be over, or are they kind of like a marker for things? Well, this is, I, this one's kind of interesting because I, it start off as a sketch, and sometimes I just start painting. Oh, thank sometimes you so I much, Kitsune Yume. Oh, was that that magic thing? Yes. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. But um, with this one, I, I have a sketch, and I kind of put a couple sketches together, so I had to transfer it like with a um, carbon paper and a, I had a mechanical pencil that I used. So, but usually, but that's because it was a very specific piece that I'm doing for a very specific event. I want to make sure I've got my birds on par and all that. But when I'm starting out sketching with paint, which is what I'm doing on top of my pencil sketch now, I don't expect the paint that is showing now to be seen in the finished piece. This is kind of like the underlayment. This is like the carpet pad you put on before you put the rug down. This is the uh, bottom layer, but this gives me an idea of where everything is going to be placed. It also gives the viewers a good idea of where things are going to be at in the painting. Like this is um, a 10 by 8, I would call it, instead of an 8 by 10 because it's horizontally aligned. It's like wider than it is tall. I just call them 8 by 10s Yeah, I call them 8 by 10s if they're it's shaped a fr- like that. It's a frame that. shop thing. Is that a we frame shop thing? We don't deviate from it. See, I'm doing it a mathematical thing, saying that I'm going to say the longest one first. Yeah, I, I hear you. The, I, I see what you're yeah. saying. There are, it, it, it's, it's like the art we gotta, You gotta keep it simple mechanics. when you're just taking measurements and making frames and things. It like, yeah. It's gonna, yeah. It's gonna fit it. It's and I do it. have a really cool frame picked up for this piece, too, and it will be hanging out in the gallery. Again, it's opening October 15th. For those of you who are near. Yes, and I'll put that link up shortly. Yeah. Uh, Jasmine, and, a couple yeah. uh, comments and questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. What we got? Uh, Queen Tree says, yes, yeah. has glitter, referring to the shirt. Yeah. Always representing. Ah. Woohoo. Last Thank time you. I got Madame Leota. Sweet. Oh, that's a nice one, and too. And Helen yeah. says, me too. I'll definitely see you again. Yay. Aw. And Painting All Day says, speaking of the UK, do you know if the Whitby Goth Festival will be on next October? Gosh, we don't know. Um, um next when October, you say next October, do you mean like like the like a next month? No, now? probably not. Um, um, if so, will you be there? Not if if it if it happens next month, I will not be there. If it happens next year, I would like to be there. So there you go. <laughs> I you I am actually supposed to have been this month. I was supposed to be in the UK for. Um, the Fairy Festival at Avebury that Karen K events were doing. And in all honesty, we would have probably been there three times this year. I yeah, if, I think if, I should have been. A, well, well me, I don't know. Maybe not in the spring. You, you were doing a bit. You were. Oh, I was sick. Yeah, I was really spring. sick for maybe a couple times. We would have made this it for months and months. What's that? A couple times we would have made it at least. Yeah. Or maybe if if one of Karen's events would have been close to the Whitby, 
Well, um, it, well, we were we already had our place booked for Avebury. Yeah. And that was this month. Yeah. And then there was going to be the Glastonbury slash um, Whitby Goth Weekend. Yeah. You must have, we like... we were supposed to have done Whitby Goth Weekend early, the, the spring one this year. Yeah. In Whitby. And that one was canceled, right? Was it yeah. canceled? That was right, right when COVID was starting. Because that's we like really, in We do need to get there sometime. Yeah. I mean, I think you have like seven, eight, nine, ten paint pieces that I wrapped up for you. That are like in storage uh, and I've there. got frames there that are supposed to go in paintings here. Yeah, I know. It's, um, so it's, it looks like I don't even I don't remember know. what those looked like. <laughs> so. I also have some half none pieces. Yeah, that's what I, I'm saying. I, I, yeah, yeah I, I don't think yeah. I have any finished ones even. I it's I have some in Kansas City. I. I yeah. don't know, man. Quit spreading yourself out, man. Yeah, I know. Well, you got I a have, plan for I these have three things. different studios in multiple galleries. It is not easy to plan. I didn't know last year that this year was going to be 2020. <laughs> you know, no nobody kidding. did. I was I was going to see you for my birthday. Aw, Jeanette. <laughs> Um, at the Fairy Festival, we all miss you. That's sad. That is sad. Oh, I think everybody misses everybody. I know. Well, at least we have this. It's better than nothing. I read that Pop Gallery at Disney Springs is permanently closed. So it... sad. Are you going to move your gallery elsewhere in Florida? Oh. We're not really sure what we're going to do. Okay, well, Pop, it. Pop Gallery, it, it may or may not be moving to a different location, possibly in the same general area, possibly somewhere else. I know they're yeah. keeping their online thing. The, what people don't know about Pop Gallery, that's not my gallery. It's a it's a third-party gallery. They also are a part of a larger gallery system that has galleries at the Hoi Polloi Galleries, like in Chicago. There's a couple of them at, like, O'Hare Airport. And so it's it's like this was one location of it, and they're kind of shuffling a lot of stuff right now. Yeah, so, so I don't know. It's uncertain. It's right uncertain, now. and Disney in general is, like, moving around a lot of their locations. Like, in California, I know they're moving their, their Disney galleries, like, within different buildings and stuff so i really don't know and i probably won't know until i get there yeah hey our screen's doing great oh is Usually it we're it frozen by now <laughs> yay <laughs> we're doing something right all right you know yeah. it just takes i'm not gonna give myself the wah 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 for that <laughs> okay i don't have a triumph thing i need to give myself a little victory a sound like a this thing. is the closest thing like but it has oh, that's like a no, no. <laughs> oh, that's not really a no, you need to make a, you should make a fancy noise too, like a, a, when people like sign up or say something so cool. So Laura <laughs> has a good question, Jasmine. Okay. Um, if you made special pins for the events that were canceled, yeah. would you consider them as special edition Patreon pins? Well, you know, that actually has kind of happened. It, it, I had a handful of pins I designed. I actually designed one for Whitby and I actually shipped it to the UK. So my um, UK distributor, Paul, has them in a box right now. And those are ones that we'll probably just use the next time I do a show in Whitby or the next time I do a show in the UK that Paul's gonna be at. So I can't really like give them to patrons because I don't have them here in Florida with me. But um, and I have done, I did three for what was going to be Megacon earlier this year. One of them was Orange Mask, which was kind of, it, it's like lemon yellow mask and lime green mask, but it was orange variant. One was the, was Albino Alligator Thank Girl you for one? follow Ninja Spawn. Oh, thank you very much. Was Albino Alligator Girl one for Megacon, you remember? It, it was originally. Yeah, um, and that's that's one I've made into a Patreon exclusive. Right. We hey, don't have that many left. Thank by the way, hey, um, I wanted to say thank you for everyone who um, we had a lot of people join the pin group this week. Oh yes, the thank pin, the, you not pin so group, much. The, the pin yes. tier on yeah, Patreon. Thank Patreon. you so much. Uh, yes, we, that, I appreciate that. I'll be and shipping I've been out um, a lot on some new pins. So. I'll be shipping out yeah. new people pin packages. New people pin packages. Probably tomorrow, and then okay. how many days, Jasmine? Do you have left to get this if you ha don't already have a? A the, Patreon pin account, or the, if you the it's been forever since you renewed the alligator girl ones. I um, I don't know how many we have left of those because we've got a new Patreon pin coming. That's out. what I'm saying. Yeah. You only have a few days. There aren't very that many. We're, we're yeah. switching over. Yeah, if if you did want an alligator albino alligator girl pin as the Patreon exclusive, you can set up multiple accounts. I won't tell anybody, but you can. Um, this is the one that we're giving away for free along with the pin of the month for those who sign up at Patreon. Or who are already Patreon pin collectors. These are the ones for this month. But this month's almost over. And next month we've got different ones. So if you want an alligator girl, be sure to sign up Patreon now. Um, we have next month, we have the public pin of the month is going to be Pumpkin Spice Dragon Portrait. Sorry. 
And then our new Patreon pin is going to be one of the cool offset metal pins, and it's going to be my logo, because I would never have done that, but so many people asked. It seems weird to make a pin that's like got my name on it. It, I don't know. It makes me feel strange, but I wouldn't wear it around myself. Or maybe I would. It makes her feel strange. Maybe I mind. should extra wear it. Anyways, it makes me feel strange. But some people wanted it, a lot of people wanted it, and it's going to be a pin. So that will be the Patreon pin. So those of you who are Patreon pin collectors, we'll get both of these next month. And if you haven't yet, you'll get these this month. If you haven't signed up, sign up, hurry up before the end of September, because then you'll get these and these. And it's only $25, includes shipping worldwide. And you get all the other Patreon junk too, which is worldwide, really cool. Worldwide, folks. Look world it up. Worldwide. Except <laughs> Moon, which is not part of our world. I think we already had this discussion. Could you show the back of the pin? I'm already on Patreon, but oh. not at the pin level, and I'm considering it. Sure. Oh, you bet, Doctor. It's like, Let's see. Yes. Pins, the pins that I do, all of them are, um, they're all facts. solid metal with enamel. And am I holding this under the right camera? Hold, yeah, hold it under the detail, good one. Okay. I always make it move backwards. Is it that way? Okay. <laughs> I have two, we've got posts. I, I am particular about my pins. So I've got the copyright Jasmine Beckett Griffith is not printed. It is actually stamped into the metal. Then I've got two posts on the back of, is every pin we've done have had two posts? I think it has. I'm pretty sure. And I use, they come with the locking backs. You can take off the locking backs if I use them because that way I know I'm never gonna lose it if it falls off. Cause you can't pull it off. You've got to squeeze the little barrel and then pull it off. Anyways, I put two of those on. You can always stick your own backs on them if you want. Not for children three years. Not for children three years or younger. Or anybody else who's going to, like, try to eat one of these and die. Not for uh, grizzly bears three not, years or younger. Not, not for un, unmonitored jasmines who are not paying attention. But you've got little pokies, two pokies, two posts, copyright Jasmine Beckett Griffith, two locking pinbacks. I put them on these little boards that we got just for ease of use. Um, some I, I often sign them for people if they come to shows. We're also going to start having signed ones you can get on the website. And just has a little collect them all. Jasmine. They come in a little plastic bag, too. This is just out because I was showing it to all. Yeah. I want to chime in and yeah. promise everyone that uh, I've never flipped a pin over and uh, lined it up with my nostrils and wore it around when no one else was, was in the house with me. Well, like, I, I, I promise the, I never did okay. that. Okay. Do you have your nose pierced? <laughs> no. Oh. I, 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 Do you mean uh, using the my locking pin backs as nostrum plugs? I, I've never done that. I just want, I just, In case I'm worried that people worried, might think I did this that. This is not a thing that has happened. Okay. Not even when you're swimming? What? Oh, hey. Why, why do people use those things on their nose when they're swimming? Can I they don't have a breath? problem. Okay. I'm good. I just want everyone to know I'm good, okay? Okay. Oh my gosh. It's an experiment. Leave you alone. All right. Okay. So, what other holidays have we got? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> National No Excuses Day. There is no excuse to flip a pin over. <laughs> And, but I, hey, that, that, I think every day should be National No Excuses okay. Day. A uh, National No Excuses Day. I'm not sure what that means. It means you can't. These call are in so. Sick these are work. so. Uh, the descriptions mean little. They kind of make every day seem less. National No Excuses. Special. Well, that's no excuse. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that means. I think it means you can't call in sick. Also, it's a oh, Sunday. Oh, on Sunday. What I mean, people go to church on on Sunday often. Uh, I know. It's, it's like yeah. they call them sick to, to Jesus. Not for Yom Kippur. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> ah, today's Yom Kippur. Is Yom Kippur. No. Uh, it's also World Tourism Day. Uh oh. Oops. Everybody going on a lot of world tours oh, today. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I was I think just talking that, about uh, how I wanted all to the festivities that were surrounding that probably Jesus. failed miserably this year. Oh. Oh, you know that's kind of sad because that's sort of what I was talking about. Like um. Martin Johnson, he talking. One of the main things he did was be a world traveler, and that's part of the reason going around the world painting interesting art stuff to show other people in other parts of the world is worthwhile. Can't do that right now. Nope. World with good reason, day. I'm sure. But, Wait, it means yeah. probably means other worlds. It's for aliens. It's well, heck, if well, we're gonna world. go that route, Sweet. I can talk your ear off. It does say it's special interest. Okay. All right, and That's finally, probably the yeah. most notable, uh, notable holiday, Yom Kippur starts today. Yeah. 
How long does Yom Kippur go for? I don't know. I apologize. I am not a scholar of such things. Let's see. What goes on with Yom Kippur? Yom Kippur is uh, a lot of ads that are trying to sell me. <laughs> it's like Googling <laughs> okay, so uh, any Yom holiday. Yom Kippur was, is otherwise like, known hey, as a people buy shit Day of Christmas. Atonement. Uh, yeah, it's it, considered it the holiest day. In, yeah. It's the holiest day Tis. In, in Judaism. The holiday lasts about 25 hours. And it's a lot of fasting. It's like almost, it's a little bit over a day. <laughs> so yeah, it looks kind of yeah. like a, a, just a peaceful, um, I'm going to concentrate on myself and um, well, isn't it kind of supposed be to be mindful little, day. Yeah, almost, That's not cool. like not like Thanksgiving, but supposed to be a... <laughs> Definitely not like Thanksgiving. No, day. no, no. I mean the meaning behind Thanksgiving, not uh-huh. how people celebrate okay. it. <laughs> I think it starts tomorrow, fasting holiday. That's the opposite I heard it started of fasting, today. yes. Um, I, know I, I don't that. know I mean what about, I'm talking about, Queen Tree. I, I, I mean wrong. about re-examining one's priorities and stuff, not eating as much food as possible oh, on a fasting re- holiday. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. Re- yeah. Reflect. Self-reflection. Re- reflect yeah. on one's own stuffs. But I think in a more spiritual way, Thanksgiving could be, I'm thankful that I have a lot of frames and, or something. Yeah, that's usually on Thanksgiving. I That's my primary and, uh, concern. It's like a lot of books. Frames and, and cats. Books. Also, I, I always cook an elaborate meal on Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a Thanksgiving. It's like that, that is not and, a fasting holiday. And, yeah, it's not sundown, a Ramadan sundown or today a to Kippur. sundown tomorrow. You fast from sundown and then break the fast tomorrow on Sunday. It sounds a lot like Sabbath. I grew up a Seventh Day Adventist, um, and we you did Saturday started Sabbath. our but basically no TV. Um, I didn't have the internet much then. Um, but it, I imagine there's, I don't know what Seventh-day Adventists do for internet, but basically you shut down, you kind of read your Bible, you chill out with your family, you might go on a nature walk for an oh. entire day, and you don't do anything worldly. Oh. As those What's world... What's a nature walk? <laughs> Wait, uh, what was it? So, World Tourism Day might have a problem with, uh, with, the, with the other. Oh. So, that, that's, um, yeah, I did that was a lot. I don't know. There were. I mean, I didn't have the internet, and I didn't watch a lot of TV. That's because we were like poor, not because we were. Religious. So basically, I don't know. I wanted to watch TV, um, and I, we, we get these little, uh, I, I'm trying programs from, from I was church, not right? Raised to seven so no, she wasn't. So I, I, I meant we as as a yeah. past collective group. Um, you and, and your former flock. Me That's and my like, former flock would get these programs keep the bird thing. from yeah. from the church and they would tell you when sundown was the next friday so that is like on a cruise ship they like give you the little paper and it says it's yeah. 553 so, so i'm basically sundown. standing by the tv right <laughs> and i'm looking at my watch and i'm like oh my gosh isn't that kind of missing this oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh so i'm looking at the tv and it's like as soon as i see the minute i turn it off and it was like a little there was no remote you actually pushed in the a button Wow. And then the TV would turn off, and then it would be quiet for a whole day, and and the stuff. Vo- the voices and then, would go away. The voices would go away. <laughs> so that was um that was a weekly thing. I, I and that was on Saturdays and not Sundays. So which Fri- is Friday the night. Seven it started Friday night when the, the sun went down to Saturday yeah. when the sun uh, came up, or uh, sun went down too. I'm sorry. When the, when the sun goes down again. The sun goes down, the sun comes up. Basically apologizing for everything you've done wrong all year. I think I'd need more than 24 hours to do that. I mean... It depends how apologetic a person you are. I mean, should I be generally apologetic? Or, like, should like I... Like, as a rule of thumb? No. Oh, no, I meant, like, for, the, if, if, for I, Yom if I celebrated Yom Kippur, yeah. should I be... Uh, should I itemize my wrongdoings in, like... Think about should I? Am I, don't I supposed think to it's tell supposed someone? to be that cut and dry. Okay. I think it's supposed to be more like, hey, it, like your end of year wrap up. Like these are the things you did bad this year. These are the things you can most improve on this year, and you kind of imp- like apply that to the subsequent months. Well, that that is totally cool, and I hope a lot of people. Uh, I hope it works out for a lot of people this year. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, it seems like a lot of us are doing that anyway. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So happy, uh, happy young fur. Than... I, I. Uh, that's I know a little bit more now. Have fun not eating. The more and I know. bad about yourself. 
All right, as far as uh, the raffle goes, we've got five minutes, folks. Oh my gosh, that was fast. Five minutes. All this holiday merrymaking. Yes. Yeah. In five minutes, we'll pick the winner. And Jasmine, can you show them that nifty print? I can. Yay. Okay. It's funny, I, I didn't think about it until I started showing this earlier, that how it's bird-themed also. But we've got Alan in Autumn is our print of the week. As you notice, we do one Twitch broadcast every Sunday, and we always have a new print of the week to show you, too. And it will go on forever because I, I keep love making that. more and more and more paintings. The but forest was on fire so with, with the sunset. With the sunset. And uh, that is something, I don't know if it's the angle of the sun that happens at autumn, but that's something I affiliate like with, or associate rather with autumn and fall also, is like really fiery sunsets that seem to be at horizon level through trees. I, I think the trees, the trees have, have slightly leaves. less leaves. Yeah. Maybe that's or maybe it's because their huh. trees, when they do have leaves, they're already brown and yellow and red. So, like, if the sun shows through them, they look extra fiery. Oh, so uh, Brian says, what a great festive fall print. And yeah. Queen Tree says, whoa. And Helen says, beautiful. How did you decide to paint the print of the week? Oh, to pick the print of the week? Oh, uh, or to uh, paint that one? To I paint think, that one specifically? Doctor, do you I mean um, oh. Owlin and Autumn specifically? Like how I decided to paint her? Because that, that, um, that print's uh, a few years old. It is a few years old. Um, she's Alan is a character who is a little owl fairy. That I, I did a series of a whole bunch of different owl fairies that were little statue like figurine toy designs. And Alan was kind of the impetus for that. And she's just like a cute little big headed little fairy that has owl wings. And she has a little owl friend. And I sort of showed her there's a springtime one where she's got cherry blossoms. There's the autumn one where she's got pumpkins and sunset. And there's a winter one where all the leaves are kind of gone. And then there's Alan with um, baby owls, which is super cute. And then there's Alan and Robin, which she is a Robin bird fairy. And yeah. So let me ask you, Jasmine, uh -huh. if Alan was like, if no one was around and like a mouse came in the in, in the corner, would, would, <laughs> would Alan quickly it? snatch it up and eat it? I don't know. That's not anything I've discussed with her. <laughs> she looks like she looks like she'd be a cuddle. She does. She's a she's a little cutie. Uh, yeah. She's cute. Yeah. And she's, she's great. She's all kind times of a childlike fairy too. She's, she's kind of cute, big old head. She doesn't have all the makeup as <laughs> my, my fairies have. She yeah. looks like she wanted a little scratch behind the ear, like her owl friend. Yeah, like her owl friend. I think she's of course. Kind I guess she's like pretty big. Spirit. I might just leave her alone. She might hurt me. <laughs> You know the thing about a lot of the, when I paint fairy characters, like fantasy characters, I do not put a lot of sense of scale for them in general, but what their scale is at the time as far as size goes. I think of kind of like Tinkerbell, like in the actual book Peter Pan, how she is sometimes a tiny little, or actually in the cartoon too, she's like a little spot of light, but she can also be like the size of a person sometimes. With Owl in here, see how that's like a great horned owl on her knees, and that's about the size of a great horned owl would be if I was like sitting like that and there's an owl by me. But there are some paintings I've done with Owl in where she's like the owl is bigger than her, or like the baby owls are almost the same size she is. So I, it's kind of more a, a, an abstract idea as opposed to, hey, that owl is the size of her head. Sort gotcha. Thing. Which is a little bit different. This painting here, the character I'm working on on this hummingbird painting, is, oh, he, um, it's more of a portrait, more of an um, abstract layout in that you can't tell this is a human. Obviously, her proportions aren't human like she has big old eyes and big old head, but you can't tell how big her arms and legs or however big her body is. And if you were to see a person's head about that size, not that size, that's about how big a hummingbird is. They're little, they're a couple inches long. Some of them are tiny. Some hummingbirds are about five or six inches long, but some of them are just itty bitty. If you see their nest, it's like the size of a quarter. So that in itself already leads to a lot of disconnect with the size discrepancy in between piece to piece, how realistic it's going to be. But on something like this, since it is going to be for a bird themed event with mostly realistic painters, I wanted it to kind of be more realistic. All right, it is time to pick the winner. <gasps> So I'm gonna get an owl. Yay! And I will sign it to you, and we will mail it to you. And if Tigrio steps on it, we will send you a different one. That's a happy little place. pumpkin. Somebody named Little Pumpkin. Yes, on this? that's kind of appropriate. And it's covered with little pumpkins. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Well, I little hope they pumpkin. appreciate this one. That's magnificent. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm gonna put some instructions in there. Also, if you wouldn't mind saying, "Hey, I won the print." Helps me. Although, yeah, I mean, I can figure it out. Because we do give prizes away every hour. So sometimes you're like, hey, I'm the one who won that thing a few days ago. You're like, oh, 
was a Gigi Winter Crown. If you Little if you pumpkin, want that's perfect. How odd of me. Congratulations. You got an Ellen. And that means the next prize is, is the pin of the month, right? Is it the pin of the it is the pin of the month. Can oh. you show that off? And I, I will. Start, Sorry, I, will I don't start have it on the backing board. Straight board. away. Give me one second. I, I don't know how you see this. Is things. our pastel Milagros um, Corazon from my Dia de Muerto series? Is it better up there? This is the pastel incarnation. This of is her. the last stream we'll be giving this one away. Yeah, because next next Twitch it's gonna be uh what's the month after September October. Yeah. Yep. And so, if we don't if we don't have the pin, we'll just have a picture of it. I, and I will send it to you eventually. Which is this one. But I think we, we might have them finished by then. Cool. So, yeah. If we do, we do. If we don't, you want a prize. Yeah, Come you on. You get a prize. It's Come free. On. You get to complain because your Come free on. thing is late. <laughs> yeah. Ah. You guys. I would. <laughs> You'd complain? No. Well, I don't know. I yell at the walls when nobody's here. Yeah, that's true. I've seen it on video footage. I didn't even she know I was doing do it. That. It's kind of terrifying. Oh, so yes, uh, I am very excited for the second uh, prize because <laughs> that will complete that, and that's I think the, the first one? full month of one pin that we we're giving away. That's true. Which is oh, since cool. we've re yeah, since we've ended our hiatus and restarted up here at Twitch, then. Oh, uh, this is usually when Jasmine takes a break, and I'm gonna ask you, Jasmine, do you want a break now? I probably do. Okay, I'm I gonna put go us, I'm gonna put us on our little uh, bumper commercial Let thingy, and um, we will yeah, see you guys so in a few. Okay. Stick around. We're we're just gone. For I'm gone away a few for like minutes. two minutes. So I'm just gonna and Matt enjoy will probably the still be in the chat room. Music and listen to uh, the music and uh, enjoy the music. I enjoy said that three the music. times. It's you, chamber you better music enjoy the music, guys. Ago. Okay, yeah. I'll see you in a little bit. All right.
the original painting is it is going to the um, American Bird Conservancy show called is it it's called Taking Flight at the Rays Gallery in Manhattan. And Matt has an email. You can email Lance, who I is do, an do. awesome guy at the Rays Gallery, who is like arranging everything there and has been such an angel sweetheart helping me out with this whole thing. And email him if you're interested in the original painting. If you're interested in a masterpiece edition, I am going to do five of these. It's a pretty detailed painting, so it's actually gonna be, or I'm gonna upsize it to a 16 by, or 20 by 16. Sorry, Matt, 16 by 20, 20 by 16. It will be longer than next time. So it will be a 20 by 16, and that will be an edition of five. I'll hand embellish each of those. They'll be available. If you want to reserve one, you can by emailing matt at strangeling.com. If you want to reserve a canvas, those are five ninety five. Hey, the I original to, painting is gonna be like probably twenty four hundred. Also, want to mention yeah. a couple things. Uh -huh. Um, I, I I don't know for sure when we'll launch it, but we Jazz yeah. and I are trying a, a new thing with the uh, masterpieces uh, on yes, online. Yes, 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 we are, and we're gonna hopefully have a way maybe that you guys it's can easier like, click to a button stuff. and reserve it without trying to email us to actually bother, reserve it. Da, 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 you know, to yeah. actually so reserve it. What reserve I'm what it. we're doing is we're going through yeah. mock purchases ourselves. Yeah, and we're trying to see. <laughs> what works best so we're, we are working on that and um yeah actually, my website that's... admin is like trying a new like down payment slash thing that the way you can reserve things ahead of time and all that but, oh kieran but and Leah, now, I'm, yeah. we're happy you're here don't don't feel bad about it you can watch the broadcast later it's fine oh yeah, yeah. that's why we record these and put them up on youtube Will prints be available or only the masterpieces? Prints will also be available. This will be one that we'll have up at strangeling.com as open edition um, canvases. We'll have glossy paper prints and we'll have the five masterpiece editions. And then the original painting is the one that is going to be in New York next month for the show. And th that one, you can contact the gallery. And again, if you contact Lance at the Rays Gallery, Matt has his email, you can just say something like, hey, um, I have put it in the room. Interested in the original Jasmine painting. This is the only painting I'm going to have in this specific group show because it's just like kind of a, a, a group show they're doing as a fundraiser. But I might do some things with that gallery in the future. We'll see. I'd love to spend more time in New York. I love New York. After all this pandemic stuff is over, I really want to get out there for fun again. Uh, there's like seven <sighs> places. There's I like everywhere I need to go, man. You know what, Jasmine? Yeah. That is very much in the spirit of World Tourism Day. Isn't it, though? You are a holidayist. I, I'm a holidayist. Yes, and I mean that in two ways. Oh. The British way and the nother. And the nother? And the nether. Both types. Thank you. So today, uh, sign would fall on, what was it? Uh, Libra. Hmm? Are there any Libras in the room? Oh, astrology. Gotcha. So um, you're going to have, you are having your birthday currently, or you, you just had it, or you're going to have it within the next month-ish. Because this is the 27th of uh, yeah. September. Okay. And so it just stopped So happy being month to Libras. Libra. Happy Libra happy sign. Happy Libra day. <laughs> so I uh I am if I am a Sagittarius. Yeah. But I am um, yeah, um <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. a Sagittarius okay, so, and yeah. my um moon is in Sagittarius, but my Lib I'm a Libra ascending. Mm. So huh. that that's kinda weird. So you're Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Libra ascending. Yeah. SSL. SSL. Social Security oh. license. Oh. Fell, fell, fell. That's what it stands for. I have no idea. I thought you said Limars. Limars? Libras. Libras. Lemurs? Yeah, it's Happy Lemurs Day. If you're the sign like of the Joey? lemur, just oh. joke out. Or joke out. Just shout out. <laughs> joke out. You can out. also joke out. Joey the lemur. I don't know what that means, but you can do it. Joke out, man. Dr. Disney says, do you create out. Disney? You're really on this. Do you create Disney master canvases? And if so. Uh-huh. How could one acquire one for your future paintings? Jasmine, explain how, ah, how yes. limited editions work in the in the. I will. Disney. It, it's interesting. When I, I work for the Walt Disney Company as an independent contractor, when I do work for Disney, it is the Disney Company that does all the printing, all the selling, all the everything. When it's Disney, I just do the painting, and Disney sells the painting, Disney sells the teachers, Disney makes the prints, Disney does all that. But Disney does make the canvases. They do limited edition canvases for my original paintings. Disney actually mails the canvases to me in the mail. 
believe it or not, they overnight them. Even though I live here outside Disney World, they'll mail them from California. It doesn't matter. I sign them. They're the numbered ones, so I have to, like, hand sign them and everything. And I mail them back to Disney, and then Disney puts them in their gallery. So there are limited edition canvases that are made and sold by the Walt Disney Company that are sold in their galleries. They're sold at the theme parks. They're sold at, like, the souvenir shops. Sometimes you can get them at, like, those print-on-demand kiosks at Disney. Sometimes, like, Disney Springs, downtown Disney will have them and stuff. But if you're, um, if you're looking to buy the limited editions, they are harder because there are only a certain amount of them. It's not something that they can really put on a website saying, hey, put a thousand of them in your shopping cart because there's only their number. Each one's a little bit different. So those are ones that you can typically find at Disney's Wonderground galleries or by contacting different there's places like the Your WDW store online that will, they don't put the limited editions on their website, but sometimes you can contact them and they're like a shopping service for Disney stuff. Like if you don't live in Florida or California, but it's something Disney only sells at their stores, they basically, I don't know, buy a ticket and they go buy stuff and send it to you. I don't do that myself because I don't get a discount even though I make this stuff, but that's just how it works. Jasmine? Yep, yep. Grandpa Charlie got a golden ticket. Yeah. Sorry, sometimes I think about, you know, Willy Wonka suddenly. Yeah. Kieran says, my star sign is a Leo. Oh, that's a, my mom is one of them. And well, Leela's a Sagittarius. Ah, you Sagittarius. Oh, this you is... guys. Oh, you men. No. <laughs> oh, you Sagittarius. Leo, that, that's like a leader. My mom Kieran, is a gonna, Leo. Are you going to lead people? Her name is Leela. <laughs> no, that's no. Kieran. Oh, Kieran is a, a Leo. Leo and Leela is, is a Sagittarius. I yeah, see. Sagittarius aren't any sort of leaders. I die. No, no Crispy comment. says Aquarius here. Oh, Aquarius, I heard about good. that. My age. friend Betsy was an Aquarius. Hmm. They're good people. What's Angela that? is a Capricorn. You're a hard worker, aren't you? Capricorn. That comes after my sign. Luke's a Capricorn. That comes after my sign too. Oh. Yeah, Capricorns. They seem like they're always at work. Yeah. Say, so, hey, you want to go hang out? No, I'm 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 a Capricorn, bro. <laughs> Laura is a Cancer. Unfortunate name, but good sign. Yeah. Taurus. There is a Taurus I care very much about. Me too. It's probably the same person. It's and I miss her a lot. It's Kachina. Yes, Chi, if you're watching, I miss you. You're a lot of fun. Oh, Hard worker and very stubborn. Those are great qualities. Am I one of that? No. <laughs> Now no, a I'm a Gemini. Silent Squid is a Scorpio. Ooh, yeah. I'm scared of Scorpios. Texas Girl is an Aries. That's cool. Aries is good. Aries I have is had good nothing but mm. wonderful experiences with Blob Aries. Blob Help is a Virgo. Yeah. I can see that. They're, they're witty. They're, yeah. They're usually funny Virgos. They're observations. Nigel's an Aries. Cool. Yeah. Queen Tree's a Pisces. No, Aries is good. Uh, my Pisces stepmother, is cool. uh, Robin, is a um, Aries. Luna is a Cancer. A Cancer. Vampy's a Sagittarius. Rock on. Sagittarius, the best one. man. Aren't there any Cancer. other Gemini's Bob is a Sagittarius. Uh, do Sagittarius and Capricorn get along? Um, you and Luke get along. Yeah, but we're not a married couple, usually. Um, you're an uncle and nephew. <laughs> yeah. That's, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> so usually you're usually not. Usually we're not. Yeah, I, don't, you know. I don't know. No We've yeah. lived many lives. Christy <laughs> says, I'm a Gemini. Oh, okay. Yay! Somebody else is a Gemini, I think. Geminis are cool. I thought yeah. they were all dead. Yeah. <laughs> a star wind is a Scorpio. Again, yeah, yeah. terrified of the Scorpios. Uh, I like Scorpio. Black Widow is Aquarius. Iris Mimi's is a Scorpion. a Pisces. That's cool. Pisces is good. That's like Sonya. Sonya Gemini in Pisces. the house. Ange Ho Hoffman. Pisces. Who else is, it? Who else is a Gemini? a lot of Gemini and Pisces. Why do, why do, I, why do I even bother being here? Exactly. <laughs> oh, God, I'm leaving. I'm a Gemini. Yay! Says, uh, Who said that one? You, you just sola. I just said I. Like you just sola. Oh, and they're a Gemini. Yay! I'll just call him huge. Okay. okay. I thought you were huge. saying you just did huge. it me because I'm a Gemini. <laughs> uh, Linda Lunda is a raffle. Raffle. Uh, yes, Helen is a Taurus must... in my country, represented by a bull. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. Taurus is usually a bull. I wish Spain was a little like bit the... nicer to their bulls. I, I don't want to go into that. Though. Twinkle says, I'm a Sagittarius, too. A few of us here today, uh, Sagittarius are the best. Uh, you know, every Sagittarius I've known has told me that. Yes. So, I don't know what's up with that. Lisa Isabella Rosso is a Sagittarius. Who is? Probably, she's probably just smart. Who is? Menace the Dennis is Sagittarius. Oh, well. 
brilliant person. Okay, yeah. Stilt is a Torian. See, I, only a Torian would say I'm a Torian. It's just like no, no. Nah, nah. It's yes, it's it's but not I'm Taurus. I'm very it's proud of you. Right. Steph is an Aries. Uh, Aries, Linda Luna is an Aries. House. A lot yeah. of Aries in here. Scorpio, uh, in you're a terrifying good. person, little pumpkin. And did you see that you won the prize, little pumpkin? Oh, oh, was was they, the... you were calling somebody a little punk because of their zodiac sign. Punk? It's like you know you don't Matt need to like both decide. Taurus. Oh, that's good. You're both Taurus together. That's Dude. nice. Uh, that's Ricky. I've been told oh, that Ricky I, and, and I don't Matt act like both... a Scorpio, yeah. more like a Pisces. Hmm. I'm well, a Scorpio, could have been and Chris really is Aries. Cusp-born, like by a few months. <laughs> I don't meet a lot of other Geminis. I don't know what's up with that. So Karen says, when I'm in college, everyone chooses me to be the leader of the group. That's okay. that's a, that that's is a Leo. Leo. That's the Leos a Leo are thing. supposed to lead. Yeah. Leo is second best to Sagittarius, says Siren Moonby. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I can agree. My parents were, I, I had a mom, a biological mother is Leo. My biological father is Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love you. Love them both. <laughs> Not in the same room. <laughs> so, but your da- your dad. I mean, Sagittarius. My dad likes being a Sagittarius. I like Sagittarius <laughs> because they're funny, and okay. they're they're they like adventure. They they. Get I think si- it's funny. You don't mind being pigeonholed as your zodiacal sign. No, <laughs> because no, I don't, you identify with it. I don't mind because it's it's not pigeonholed. It's saying, hey man, you're free. Ah. Free bird, man. I peace free out. Bird. I'm out. Sagittarius. If they don't like, they just like, they leave. <sighs> They're like, no, I'm, I'm done with this. Sorry. Yeah, no. yeah, they're not too, they're not ridiculously committal. So it's kind of well, seems you know, like a, hey, this, I'm going to go have adventures and like cage, have man. fun. Yeah. So right. Jasmine, do you have a split personality being a Gemini? <laughs> I would you? have to ask somebody other than myself for that because I cannot agree with myself ever. What do you think, Mandy? Yes. Oh, okay. But I would say that. I'm not a, you it, would it's say honestly, that because you're my husband. I'm not, it's not fair. <laughs> it's not a fair pers- thing to ask me. Okay. Really is. I'm sorry. We have four generations now of women born in October and men in February, says so Starwind. Interesting. That's interesting. I wonder why that would be. I'm trying to think what happens nine months before those times. Just out of curiosity. So there weren't a lot of Libras in the room. I mean, there are a few, but that's kind of weird. I'm surprised there aren't more what have, what Geminis. What have we really heard from like... much? We heard one Aquarius. It's like a buttload of Pisces in here. Literally. A decent amount of Gemini. The, a few Pisces Sagittarius. Well, you know, uh, it seems like half the people oh, are Oh, Bianca's a Libra. Who is? Bianca. Oh, Bianca. I can see Libras that. Libras are good, Bianca. Libras good. are good. Actually, if everybody they're, was they're a Libra, good, everybody would get along. I joke, but... No, there's good things about all this. They're all yeah. a bunch of nonsense anyways, but, you know. Ho, oh, oh. So I base my day around. <laughs> I do like re- I do like reading my horoscope, and I'm a I'm, in every other instance I'm a horribly skeptical person. I think I think horoscopes are just fun. I like horoscopes, and they're often filled with good advice. Brian is a I'm Brian is a Libra. Oh, cool. Yeah. See, there are Libras. What's one we have not heard from? Have we heard from a um? Who are those people you never hear from? <laughs> Aquarius, honestly, but we we heard from I know, one. I know. Aquarius, and they've been pretty important. Of course, but my daughter's an Aquarius. Thing. What's that? God. We need more Aquarius in here. A lot of, I heard from a decent amount. My friend Betsy was another Aquarius. Pisces. Yeah. And Jeanette's a, a, I could be a Virgo or a Libra. Well, it's just that you're, um, cusp you're a cusp. Enough. But you're already, if you're cusp and then, um, you you're actually born have... in the sign, you're well into the sign already. Alex is a Cancer, and my mother is a Taurus. Okay. I don't know. We probably heard from all of them. Let me look. There's a list here. Uh, there's always Aries, like, Taurus, wonder- Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. We Capricorn, have, where we have, are you? We have heard from a few. They're hard workers. Remember, I talked about them. Yeah, we Aquarius did talk about Pisces. them. Aquarius and Pisces. That's right. It's all the people in the early part of the year. I, all you winter birthday people. All you cold weather after Christmas winter birthday people. Yeah, I was. I was. Cop. The, the copulation happened in the spring for me. Well, that's the thing, too. It's like I a lot of people in my family are sometimes born like a month or two off from when they're supposed to be born from. So do you count like your due date or like if you're a month late, do you count No, that? you can't when you're born because it's the time you're born at the time you're born. And then uh, there's you the don't moons think, there okay. and you're ascending and you're moving. Okay, okay, okay. Um, do you it's not when think... you are actually shot out of your mom. I would honestly, if I wanted to look at it 
<laughs> realistically as one does it's with the horoscopes. mom canon <laughs> i would say it's when you're conceived and that is based off of the nine months after that oh so don't you think that you become i don't want to know oh. they don't even like each other they haven't I liked know, each other man. for a million years everybody our age it's like none of our parents are like still talk to each hey, other if, if, you're, if you're around my age no. and your parents are still together if you were together, born in the 70s or 80s your parents are probably divorced you are America probably because it not suddenly got friend. really easy to get divorced and so everybody who didn't want to be married didn't get married so yeah crispy says me my brother my uncle and my grandmother all aquarius but my late wow. husband was a gemini and a twin Aww. Aww. you know i've known three sets of twins who have been gemini's are those bits oh somebody gave us bits Oh, cool. Yay. Thank you, Stilt. Thank you very much. I didn't get the bit noise. I, I need know. to look at that. Is that our? It. It's probably our settings on our thing. I don't, I don't know, know what I'm doing. My parents have been married and celebrating their 47th anniversary in oh, December. Oh, nice. Wow. And that Laura's 44. That is pretty good. Third year of marriage. Yeah. Nice. They made a Laura. I've, I've only been married for 23 years. Uh, uh, Laura, do you have any siblings? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that that is pretty amazing. 47 years. 47 years is a lot. Yeah. That's good. I share a birthday with five family members. Oh my goodness. Jeez. You know, we have a lot. Not a lot, but we have... A, so, we were talking about a oh. couple times that we have, like, a glut of birthdays in our family. Like, my sister Amber and <laughs> their husband glut. and their kids are all, like, within nice two weeks. Word. It's ridiculous. It's like, you just have a big party. <laughs> Hi, Willow and Fox. You guys' birthdays are close together. But, um... Or, like, with <laughs> Felix and Nick and my dad yes, are all, Sagittarius. like, within 24 oh, yeah, hours. Oh, I see. Yeah. They're on the, the other side. Ah. Um, yeah, that's kind of funny. And then I have two nie- I have two nieces, same birthday, and two nieces, other birthday, same. Yeah. So that, that's kind of weird. Sally and Theo are both born on Halloween. Yep. There, yeah. there's, that's kind of a, a thing, too. There's 365 chances for this. Yeah, I know. And we're only talking about our family group of, like, 25 people. It so it is kind of funny. The Matrix is real. The Matrix is real. <laughs> no. I was, yeah. It's a glut. It is uh, a the glut. Is a gl- it's like, hey, mom. It's like a ha- how some m- sort of. Can I have some mashed potatoes? Yes, son. How many mashed potatoes would you like? I'd like a glut, mom. Can you give me a glut? I mean, what sort of word is glut, Jasmine? I, it's a last name and be pluralize it. <laughs> no. Gluts? Yeah. Sadie yeah. made gluts? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say oh my testimony. Gosh. Of- no, sorry. I won't. I won't. Oh, like I won't, to hear I won't. the testimony of Sadie. <laughs> I Mag- don't love yes. started, dude. No. <laughs> oh, we have our insight. Aren't you all learning how to paint? <laughs> no, sorry. They were drunk and it was my dad's 30th birthday. Oh, Laura, that's, lo- that's a lovely story. And that's how you got That's bored? a lovely story. And then nine months mm. later, Laura joined. Laura says, yes, I have two. I am the eldest. Okay. My brother is 42, and my sister just. A turn 40. Oh, wow. Congratulations. That I will is... send your sister a card. We were talking about that this morning about my Not family. Really. When I talk about how I have a lot of sisters and stepsisters being around the same age, I have us three biological sisters are born within two years. And then on both sides of her family, we have on one side two stepsisters, and the other side one stepsister that are all born also within those 10 years. So we have six girls born within two years in my direct sister family. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> oh, come on. I think it's impressive. No, I don't think it's impressive. It's something. Everybody's like 40 all of a sudden. Everybody. Everybody's, Everybody's 40. 40. When I was a little kid, when someone was 40, uh-huh. they were already like, they were going cane shopping and like practicing and thinking about their getting retired i swear wow 40, they joked about 30 being over the hill when i was a little kid i'm like hi you're like, over the hill you're 30 and i guess that was like the age if you were an unmarried woman's like you were suddenly a spinster i don't know what a guy what's a guy version of spinster a bachelor bachelors get to have a fun bachelor. a bachelor yeah. it sounds like oh they're a bachelor they they're out partying and it was like spinster sounds like she's covered with cobwebs and like already a I'm school a teacher and doesn't want to be you know spinster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, i was gonna quote a partly in the episode I'm not gonna, huh? that's just awful yeah 
Yes, but the male version of that would be Bachelor. And one of them sounds fun, and the other one Well, what's a Bachelorette, then? Huh? What's a Bachelorette? It's not a thing. Maybe it's a... It's a a way to sell... A spins tea. Drinks at bars. Huh? There's got to be a good... A spins tea? Does anybody know a good male version of the the term spinster? There's got to be something. Well, I don't think there is one. It can't be Bachelor. A widower? (laughs) That means he's been married. Yeah. Um, Sorry, guys. The room is silent. No one knows. Bachelor. Telling you. Happy birthday to Baron for tomorrow. Woohoo! Yeah! Who? Is that somebody we know? Uh, probably. Ha- oh, it's, it's a like kitty. Bianca's person? Huh? Kitty! A kitty! A kitty yeah. Oh! Right. Oh, kitty. Oh, you want, you that get a kitty? I'll give you a kitty little kitty. Cat. I never know my kitty's birthdays. So we don't find them like in alleyways and stuff. We can make up birthdays for them. Right? Happy birthday, Baron! Woo, kitty! I'm my I'm my dad's only child and my mom's third child. Sign of the times. I hear ya. I'm my father's only child and my mom's middle kid. Yeah. And I'm the only boy. Yeah. I'm baking cookies, so I'm just kind of listening to the conversation. I'm not baking cookies. Okay, Brian, cookies. but did you hear my question? <laughs> what is, is a, a good- male spinster? A, a, f- a, a, a fenster? No. A fenster. A fenster. No. A, a, a fencer? Fenster. That means... Ramsey is going to be five. Wow. Are Dave they... Ramsey is going to be five? What's their name? Ramsey? The, the money guy? The kitty cat? Oh, it must guessing... be a kitty. It must be a kitty. Was oh, I right? I was, I'm guessing kitty. everybody is a Yay. kitty cat now because that's easier. And if it's like under 10, it's probably likely. I'm more likely to have friends who have like cats that are in single digits than children <laughs> at the moment in my life so right nobody now. knows they, they, they don't it's care. i did and it was bachelor it's, but there's a bachelorette there isn't a bachelorette that's a joke i saw a bachelorette party i'm sure you did honey i'm sure it was a hen party also but a bachelorette is a joke that's like saying a ladette instead of a lad it's not really a word Okay. It's taking something that already exists. It's like saying a spinsterino is a boy or something. You know, that doesn't make sense. Well, it's, maybe it's spinstress and spinster. It's not. A spinster is a woman. We get that. We get. <laughs> you can be a spinsterino. <laughs> Women get the original one. You can be a woman. Anyway, it's, it's okay. antiquated at this at this point. I don't think people yeah. use that term well, anymore. Well, I was talking the other day about... Oh, um, wait. That, uh, There's there, so sorry. Angela copied something from some site that's smarter than us. Oh, probably. The term originally denoted a woman whose occupation was to spin. Yeah. yeah like spin, like spin class. No. Yeah, <laughs> like spin class. Like, you know, work off those calories on a bike. A as synonymous, long as it makes everybody feel good. A synonymous but more pejorative term is old maid. Yeah. The closest equivalent term for males is bachelor or confir- already... confirmed bachelor. Now, that, that meant something else, wink, wink. that you might have had a... Um, a, a, a confirmed a close, bachelor You had friend. a close roommate who you spent yeah. your last 60 years with. Again, also sort of. antiquated. Yeah. And it's also like, antiquated. It's like these and things come are on, it's your husband, boyfriend, these whatever. This thing sounds shameful. Yeah. But they this are, is generally they're not, all meant to make people feel bad for not reproducing. This and does, I just generally don't. does yeah. not carry the same pejorative <laughs> connotations in reference to age and perceived desirability in marriage. No, seriously, though. Think uh, like a bachelor pad. That sounds like a kick-ass apartment. If you said a spinster pad, it sounds like an unpleasant like medical device, yeah? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> so Menace of Dennis says bachelorette is used because uh, spinster is negative, con- has negative connotations. So it's a nicer, more modern word but bachelorette almost sounds like bachelorette means you're gonna get married the next week it doesn't mean you're a back who has ever said bachelorette talking about an unattached woman you know what it means you're gonna get married we can start now okay i'm a bachelorette everybody email me no just kidding i'm married (laughs) i'm a spinster yeah i saw you spin i know what's what i mean spinster pad Yep, spinster pad. <laughs> They're on sale at Walgreens. Everybody you can get them delivered. Back to my spinster no. pad. Check it out. Uh, yeah, so it what? Like what items would something. be in a spinster pad? Like if it was uh, cats. I just can't think of it not being full of cobweb spiders and cats. I, I 
I, but I also, those are like my few favorite it's, things. It's, it's turning in the Havisham. Can you de- be it's divorced and be a spinster? I don't think so. Do you th- would you call Mrs. Havisham or Miss Havisham a bachelorette? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. She's eligible. I'm going to reclaim this word. Yeah. I'll I said it. bachelorette when I had my own pad and was not getting married, says Ivy. Was that before Ooh. you got married? <laughs> She, well, I don't, uh, probably. Ivy, what, what, what's your status there? Are you single, Ivy? Spinster pad. Sounds scary. I don't know. Spinster pad, it, again, it sounds unpleasant. It sounds like it would be made out of, like, gauze. You know? Like, it has an adhesive tab on the back of it that you don't know what it's for. I was single and free. Oh. With love. four E's. Oh, that's, that's, that's really free. That's like, you maybe need a different one. That's like free. free. I mean, that's so free you're using for breeze. Yeah. If the Spencer pad is full of spiders and cats, the cats are not doing their job. There's, that's that, a there's good just that many point. spiders. Yeah. Well, it depends how big the yeah. spiders are and how small the cats are. The cats, the spiders are in, in, in on the cats, like making little nests. I always worry, our cats will try to eat anything that is smaller than them that gets in the house. I worry about poisonous spiders if a cat or a dog eats the poisonous spider does it is it toxic also does it I poison their tummy there's there well, can be a about, difference like cane toads and ch- or like the little um in costa rica oh! the, what cane toads because that one time he fainted with the cane toad no oh what oh i'll tell that story later but... okay <laughs> okay well what was the <laughs> wah, 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 wah? you said cane toads and frogs oh or, well, Did I curse? Did. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, maybe. Okay. Well, thank you for bringing attention to it. Um, but if you have... Um, what was I even going to say? Oh, cane toads are like the little froggies that are in Costa Rica. Remember like the little Mr. Blue Jeans and the um, poison dart froggies that live back behind our little housey thing we're at in Costa yes. Rica? Those, I guess if they get in the water dish of like a dog or a cat and the cat drinks the water or the dog drinks the water later, it can kill them. Because they're like poison arrow frogs. And I've heard that cane toads, like in Australia, work yes. the same way. But I don't know enough about it. So, the cane toad story. Um, oh, you're... If, I, if you guys want to hear the cane toad... I don't have to tell it. It's, it's mildly that. amusing, I suppose. I think it's kind of sad. It's kind of what? Sad. It, it is. It's, it's hey, weird. Hey, but it was me talking about an Aquarius when you were at the beginning. An Aquarius? Uh-huh. Is Sonia an Aquarius? No. Do you remember how the story started? No. Sonia's a Pisces. Okay, I was talking to you and Sonia about how Betsy, my Aquarius friend from uh. childhood, had a purse made out of a cane toad because the cane toads were so harmful and ubiquitous or like putting a bounty on them in Australia and they were like, hey, we'll give you 50 cents for every dead cane toad and they like turn them into coin purses. This yeah. is a thing. Yes. Anyways, and I was talking about how Betsy had one of them when we were a kid. And yes, no, and then what happened? And Betsy okay. was an Aquarius. So okay. I said she turned it into a coin purse, like like a. No, she got it in Australia. No, I, this is what I said to Sonia. Yeah, because uh, Sonia was there. My stepsister slash website. Yes. Yeah, so but... Sonia was there. Paul was there. Jasmine was there, and I was there. Four, four humans. Yes. Okay. And I said to and we were just talking about, it, and I said, you somebody made a, a coin purse out of a, a, a toad in and Sonia's like yeah you did she did and then but then she pulled one out I did not that was very unexpected she pulled one out of her purse like her larger purse and showed me and it was a a giant toad it's and a it whole had, dead toad that's been hollowed out and, it had and has a, like a coin purse clip and it had on one of those now. clasps that you open like it's like, been leatherized it's been totally ed gamed it's and like i saw it and gross. i yeah i didn't faint no but my um i i s- kind of did a you swoon <laughs> yeah i kind of did a swoon and everything went gray like i couldn't see color because he just didn't expect a whole having talked about it as something I've it was seen as weird a child, it was like it was a magic trick Sonia's like i've got one here here's this big dead frog that i've hauled yeah, out like, of purse and it, it was so out of the blue right and that unexpected it, that it made matt swoon yeah so i swoon and then but then i caught myself i like i woke up like a, a probably a split Ten second before later. i would have fainted no, yeah um but it was horrible horrible and i didn't want to see it it just it just made me sad <laughs> 
I was like, that's so, so sad. And Leather like, wallets are just, And then, yeah. like, yeah. then Sonya goes on a spiel about how they're an invasive species and they hurt oh, dogs. Oh, no, I'm not here that. I, 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 I was again, like, okay, I'm an animal God, person. I, I'm I just a don't vegetarian and all that. But I, I understand that there are sometimes too many types of animals and places that are bad or whatever. But, yeah, it was gross and weird, though. It was, yeah. So, sorry, Sonya. Yeah. But in, your, sorry, you your know, purse since is so then, gross. I've, <laughs> I've got to befriend a lot of toads and it kind of made up for it. But I understand that they're invasive species. And as an environmentalist, I understand. As a person who just likes cute things, I that childlike part of me does not understand. It's like as a scientist, but as a fellow toad, I just oh, know. We got a frozen screen. And thank oh, you, painting, it. for telling me. <gasps> I will fix that right oh, away. They're not going to see all the alligators I, I added at the last it. minute. And that is very Hopefully helpful. nobody bought it before they saw I added all the alligators. No. I do sometimes think about that uh, when it's like, oh, it froze. Who knows? I could have made it all purple and blue. Nobody even knows. You, you don't want to get a canvas. You don't even know it's so purple yet. Okay. It should be working now. Okay. Is it working? Is it the right way or is it like uh, It's backwards? good. Okay. Cool. We are good. I would have died laughing. She would be... <laughs> Great on that game show back in the day. Oh, uh, uh, it's like, what What oh, the hell do you have in your purse? Let's make a let's deal. Let's make a deal. Yeah. Oh, God. It's like, do you have a dead <laughs> dead toad in your purse? And she'd like, pull it so out. Like, like, I do have a dead toad. It. It's like, here's $500. Or a donkey behind a curtain. My God, that is a stupid, stupid, Didn't stupid Didn't they make it? I had never saw it, but I think they made like a version of it in the... 90, 90s or the 2000s even? I don't know. Or I just think of like people now? like... Is it on now? I don't can you know. imagine yeah. couples like filling up their purse and it's like with stupid crap from their junk drawers and like... It was always like bobby pins I hope that they... I help I have the thing that that dumb guy asked for. It was just awful, awful show. That's a show that you walk when, watch that when you're sick. That's how people used to talk. <laughs> that is how the people talk That's on that the show. They, they're, they talk intelligently. Before they enter the studio, and then they start talking like that after. It's like as soon as the camera turns on, they turn. I live in I South understand. Florida, and there's a bounty on iguanas. I would totally rock an iguana purse. Uh, yeah, oh, I don't think I'd a... like to see that. I, I love yeah, iguanas. I, you know, <laughs> I was showing Matt. There's this, um, I forget which designer it is. It's in Paris, and they have corkadile, which is like crocodile yeah. fake skin, but they make it out of cork. But it looks... So much like crocodile that if you get like their stupid five thousand dollar backpack made out of their fake crocodile or whatever, it still looks like crocodile. So I'd feel like a jerk wearing a five thousand dollar fake crocodile backpack too. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like how I probably I don't like fur, so I don't think I'd get a really realistic like fake fur because how would people know I was trying Birkin to bags. make them feel bad? <laughs> What's a Birkin bag? Hmm? Birkin bag? Mm-hmm. What's a Birkin bag? What about it? Uh, what what is a Birkin bag? Why do you ask? Did somebody ask somebody says the Birkin bags? Question mark. Oh, the the like, the, the design the, like the um the little purse things. I guess so. Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Know, know. I don't I'm sorry. I have like I have one no purse I bought at Target is. like ten years ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very savvy. It's the top of the line purse to have a Birkin bag. So not from Target. <laughs> the Croc ones. Oh, okay. Ah, ah. Well, yeah, it might be because this it is costs a, as much as cars. Okay. Yeah. Well, these are oh, okay. ones that cost like five grand, but they are made out of cork, and they're supposed to look like the crocodile ones. And it, I want to. It's not Hermé. It's not Hermé. It's something. Uh, See, I know Hermé. No, it's not Hermé. I'm saying it's like a name brand from France that you would expect to throw five to ten figures at for a bag, but it looks like real crocodile, but it's made out of cork. So that's cool that they're not hurting crocodiles yeah, or whatever, but it still thing. looks gross and it's got a nasty little tail on it. I just, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I hate horrible. Seeing, I mean, it's kind of yeah, fascinating I think it, in a way, but like when you see furs like it from the 20s like, when it's got the heads of the animals like right. biting It seems like something or, 100 years from now would look very uh, yeah. barbaric. Yeah. I like know. when you see old pictures, uh, like paintings at museums of royalty when they've got the ermine and you can see all the like Birkin are made by Hermé. It, it is Hermé? Okay. Yeah. I'm embarrassed that I know that. <laughs> it's only because if I hear something I don't forget it. It's not because I, again, I don't think I've ever spent like, more than ten dollars on a purse in my you life. You could buy one of those bags or you could buy a jasmine painting. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't buying one of the bags. I would just lose it. Did, hey, uh, stuff you uh, on it and, mm. purse folk in the room. Like, if I had a yeah. Gucci bag from the I, '80s, would it still be worth? I don't know. If they did. Would that. it have any value now? 
a, a, an old Gucci bag? Do they, or is it like within the last 10 years? How um, long do well, they, how long do they last? Collect, a lot of people collect vintage couture. If you're talking about like people who want name brands who want like quality vintage clothes and really care about labels yeah people collect that stuff okay there's a lot of i didn't know if they held their value no a lot of some of those things do especially things like bags and coats and stuff like that i don't because i don't waste money on stuff like that not waste money i don't collect things like that i understand how that could be seen as a an art form though Mm -hmm. i do Design, certainly. Yeah, that's what I mean. Fashion mm-hmm. design can totally be an art form. I think it's yeah. as valid as any other art form, really. It's certainly just as valid because there's a lot of art forms. But it, a bag ain't my thing. That ain't my bag. Ain't your bag. <laughs> no, Ooh, I always make you oh carry gosh. all my... Anyways. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh, thank you, April. Thank you, April. We got these cute the little heart course. bits. Aw, so uh, several people in the room said they'd rather have a jasmine painting Aww. than a big old Honestly, Hermes bag. Honestly, that might, I mean, I don't like talking about investing in art more than I have to, but that uh, might hold up better than a purse over decades. Especially if you want to, like, give yeah. it to your grandchildren someday. Oh. Especially if it's made out of something like crocodile skin that, or elephant tusks or something that might be illegal later. Maybe a strange thing to inherit from your grandma. It's like, I've got her <sighs> bag. That yeah. she took to let's make a deal and had a paperclip in and she won $500. Oh, huh? $500 back in 1970s money, what's that now? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's it's more money? It's more now. Well, I don't know. Now that's what you should invest in is money. <laughs> no, actually, you shouldn't. So Jasmine, besides yeah. holidays... Because <laughs> that is my passion. Yeah. Besides holidays, there are famous people that were born today people oh god I people. Love people um so let me uh, tell me if born there's a... like what year today are you making me oh, guess? I, will, I can tell you okay. what year or you can guess what year but they were born try. this day of different years. this day okay. different year and it's september famous 25th. yeah not not a famous infant wasn't born yet jasmine it's not like their prince was born today how like, do you it's wilford so brimley before. it's wilford brimley what is he he's like 30. <laughs> Um, Wilfred Brimley was born 79 years ago. Well, what's what's the date, though? I'm not going to figure that out. Uh, what, what date was he born? Uh, 1960, or 61. 1961? No. Uh, 41. Christ on the cross. 34. He was born in 1934. Oh, I was guessing 41. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's is today. Is it? Hey, like happy birthday, bullshit. Gwyneth. Um, happy birthday, Gwyneth. Um... Let me think. She's got to be born in 76. She is older than me. She's born in 72. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Well, it is worth the $2 million you spend on your skin every year, Gwyneth. Oh. <laughs> oh. She has skincare lines. I'm not telling people things they don't know. She doesn't have skincare lines. She, she has ha- goop. What is that? Oh, I thought you were talking about on her lines on her face. Skincare no, lines. No, she doesn't because she gets... I'm joking. Things done to her face. <laughs> Everybody gets things done to their face. We usually don't talk about it. Okay. Little Wayne's birthday is today. Didn't he die from cough syrup? No. <laughs> okay. He didn't die from cough I'm syrup. Sorry, Little Wayne. Jeez, I just don't know. People. So what? When do you? Th- how old do you think Little Wayne is? Is he still little? He's little, Jasmine. He's just a little Wayne. Okay. Um. I don't know. Is he younger than me? Probably. He was born in 1990. <laughs> if I know any of these people, I'm very sorry. I'm just honestly guessing. Lil Wayne was born in 1982. Okay, ain't that little. He's like my age. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that that that's Lil Wayne. So when I, he was drinking... Like going to the hospital for drinking cough syrup, he could have been like buying. I beer. don't know this cough syrup <laughs> story. I could be. I, I apologize, Lil Wayne, if I'm confusing you with another singer. Let's see. I might be. I'm. I could Google it. No, I don't sound like I, I. I am not. I mean, when I was little, I might have like drank a bottle of cough syrup for fun. I don't know, but I. I. It's different if you're like 30. I feel. So another person's birthday today is Avril Lavigne. Canadian songwriter. Um, she is Canadian. Um, let me think. She's probably younger than oh. me too. She was probably born in nineteen. 
I guess, I'm guessing she and Lil Wayne maybe have stuff in common. Was she born in 84? How about? Absolutely correct. Yes! You got it. You won. Oh, oh man, that was what we call. It's like there's millennials and there's like the cough syrup generation. <laughs> yes. I need to not talk about cough syrup. So. Excellent. Okay. So you got you got the correct answer. Yeah. So what do I get? A bobby pin or something? Uh, yeah, a new sure. purse? I'll, I'll hook a new you up purse? later. What? I'll hook okay. you up later. Okay. All right. Okay. Mark Marin's birthday is today. Oh, is it? Okay. He was born in 19... He's a comedian, 62. guys, if you don't know who Mark Marin is. 1963. 1963. 1963. Is it right? Is yes. it right? You're correct. <gasps> Mark Marin, you know you love me. Yes, okay. you're right, Jajoki. We Mom, have today, a lot of mutual friends. Today okay. is is former teen hunk Sean Cassidy's birthday. Oh, Matt might know when that guy was born. I do because it's on my screen. Oh, oh. well, think about. Okay, let's try this. I have no idea when he was born. Think about the numbers, and we'll see if I can guess them. Think, think about. Okay, I'll think about the numbers. Meow, I'm a, I'm not meow, a strong receiver. I'm a very strong meow, sender. Meow. Okay, make more Linda Belcher noises. <laughs> Those are my psychic uh, things I just sent to you. There's you a five? Want to There's a five. Covers. Is there a five? Yeah. Is there a five? Yes. Okay. There is There's a, a five. five. Is there a six? No. Seven. No. Oh, 1950 something. Yeah. One, nine, five, four. You ha we do not have a psychic link. 1958. 58, dude. He's younger than my mom? <laughs> There's a big conspiracy about Avril. My conspiracy is about her name. I really want to say Anvil every time I read it. It's French for uh, for April. Okay. Yeah. I still want to say Anvil. Is she from Canada? Is she French Canadian? Is she like Quebecois? Is that why she's got a French name for is her she April? Quebecois. Is she Quebecois? We is should ask French? Dolphin. Hey, you Dolphin, know, do you know Avril Lavigne? Maybe oh, if Quebec French is my first language, I would like her music. Let's more. see. Um, <laughs> if there's anybody else I know on this, uh, Louis the Thirteenth, Jasmine, he's dead. Okay, I'm gonna be so far off. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Louis the Thirteenth, correct? And it's his Louis the Thirteenth. He I'm only lived so... to age forty-two. Yeah, I know. Um, who didn't? Let's see. We're going to. I'm going to be so wrong. How about... Well, you don't have to guess. Hold on. How about uh, 1719? No. When is it? 1643. Yeah. I was thinking the 14th, wasn't I? That's okay. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. I mostly know it from the designs. Like, picture frames. Uh, uh, these bunch of faces. No one I know. Faces. I'm just trying to visually look at these guys. People, faces, things. Now This is a nice little Come website. Hands. What? What website are you looking at, QT? Uh, it's called thefamouspeople.com. The famous Oh, it's Meatloaf's birthday. Oh. Meatloaf. Everybody knows Meatloaf. Does everybody know Meatloaf in the room? Sam Adams. Hey, yeah, Jajoki Mom must be on the same website as me. Oh, really? Hey, are you? Are okay. you what are you interviewing I for the job, loaf. Jajoki? Me hey, Meatloaf went vegan. Do, huh? Huh? Trying to show <laughs> me really up? really did. I'm not huh? being sarcastic. Huh? Want to go at it? Huh? Huh? Anyway, I told you Meatloaf is vegan now. Did you know that? Meatloaf is vegan. A vegan, <laughs> vegan or meatloaf. Or he's a vegetarian. I don't meatloaf know is vegan. now. Yes, I'm on the yeah. same site. Ah, uh, it's oh. a pretty cool site though. You found Matt's secret. You, you found we, my secret. We thought he secret. just knew a lot about numbers and people. Yeah, like but I'm really, just he had pulling this out of my head. Uh -huh. right. My head. <laughs> anyway, Meatloaf, Jasmine. Yes, Meatloaf was born in 1956. 47. Dude, he it is dash fast. <laughs> by the dashboard light. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, bad out of hell's a good song. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. I like it better than Paradise I would by do the dashboard light. For love. No, I don't, I don't really like that one. Yeah. Hey, he would do anything for love, but not that. Exactly. And you know what that is. <sighs> He's just clever. He says clever things in his music. He's sometimes. a smart guy. And now he doesn't eat meat. Well, he eats I would do anything for love, now. but I won't do that. Also, Eddie and Rocky Horror. Yes. Yes, he's, he's in Rocky Horror. Magically, he looked older then. I don't understand. It's because he's vegan now and he looks young. Now he's a vegan. Takes 20 he, years off your skin. And he looks young. 
We got four minutes to the raffle. Oh my gosh, what's the next? Oh, it's a pin. It's a pin, <gasps> show that off. Okay. Let's join that raffle. <gasps> Someday I'm gonna Vanna White this properly. I, sh I think some of these people on this page are my cousins. Yep. Yeah. Probably. Some of them are probably my cousins. I don't know. Peter cousins. Sellers. Okay. That's a wrong Peter Sellers. I like Peter Sellers. It's not the right one. Oh. Well, he died. Quilty. No. Doesn't look like that. Oh, here's some older... Pe hey, how about Herman Kolbe? <laughs> hmm? The chemist. I didn't hear who the first Herman Kolbe. Kolbe? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's like he Chemist seems like one what? of those guys you'd see the portrait of in the. Uh, I know a lot about the national chemists. portrait. How's his last name spelled? K O L B E. I don't know. How about James H. Wilkinson, mathematician? I've known so many Wilkinsons. I I don't want to say anything. <laughs> I knew some Wilkinsons when I was younger, but I I knew some good Wilkinsons when I was. If older, Meatloaf so is a one. vegan, shouldn't he change his name? I've, you, you know what, even when I ate meat, like, as a very small child, I felt like meatloaf didn't really have a lot of meat in it. Well, yeah, <laughs> Doesn't all, it kind of make but also, use up old breadcrumbs and rice and old tomatoes that are too squishy? My name, I mean, my name could be Matt, and if, it, if my name was meat, I wouldn't change it because I became vegan. It's that somebody ate me that they wouldn't be vegan. Meatloaf can be meatloaf. Yeah, it's just um, a I've had, I, I'm trying to think, I've only had meatloaf as a child when I ate meat, like, a couple times. I think I've it's had supposed meatloaf to have a, lot of a few times in it? as an adult. Does it have yeah. crackers in it? Yeah, you like bust up old saltine crackers, throw in a ground up loaf of bread, an onion that was all squidgy on one side, and that's and put ketchup on it. It's like unless the it's the, like the old adage you are of, what you eat, then he should yeah. change his name. Meatloaf is basically like making a really big crappy meatball that's like shaped like a loaf of bread. Hey, Meatloaf was in the yeah. Tenacious D movie too. Yes, yes he was. Yes, and Fight Club. And Don't Fight forget Club. that. Yes, but and we know his name is Robert. His name is Robert Hom Hom. No. Nobody knows. His name's not Robert Palmer. It's not. Is Robert that his Paulson. birthday today too? No. <laughs> yes. I know it I know it's Robert Paulson. That's how my mom used to make it too. I think Impossible Loaf. Yeah, Impossible yeah, Loaf. It tastes should, like yes, meatloaf. It is Paulson I, think Ninja. I never really liked meatloaf to begin or the, the, the dish, the food. I don't know. Yeah. But so if it's like if I make a vegetarian vegan meatloaf, like out of impossible meatloaf, it still tastes like meatloaf. I just like, ugh. <laughs> I don't know. That's a thing. As these, it's like I never liked veg. I never when I ate meat as a kid, I never liked seafood very much. So it's like I don't want to go get vegetarian shrimp. shrimp what I like, to be <laughs> what I like with the newer fake meats uh, is a uh, a chili. Yeah, well, chili's tasty. A when chili, you eat chili, yeah. it's mostly like eating the spices in the things you add to it anyways. It's not so Has much it like ended? I'm thing. getting a message. Marty, what do you mean? Has... Oh, uh, no, we got 52 seconds. Oh, is it? The... Is it time for the prize? Is oh, it I see. I, I think they're referring to the raffle. Raffle! Uh, no, it's still going. Does it, does it do it automatically? Or... I don't know how it works. I mean, it's going to go off. You're going to hear a little bling bling, and then I'm... Um, did they hear that in the room, or is that something yeah, they, we have, they like, hear here in our house? Yeah, they hear it. Oh, okay. I'm a veggie, too, and didn't like seafood as a kid, either. Uh, Gosh, uh, I don't, I don't, oh, oh, God, I don't no. I've, I've been a vegetarian for 30 years, but when I was very small, I did eat meat, and my dad would make the grossest stuff ever. Oh, totally. I, I just... He was the type of dad who would be like, here are some frog legs. I've taken the skin off it. Let's put it in the frying pan and see how the legs kick around. Now, here, eat see, it. See, that's, that's why and, you don't uh, wince when you see a... Uh, uh, a toad bag. No, no. I'll pick up a human brain. I don't care. I'm not superstitious that, that is way. our I... little chime, and I'm going <gasps> to pick the, the winner. Prize? Yay. Woohoo. Let's pick that winner. Who gets a pin? Pin of the month. And the month is almost over, then we'll have it's a new Dozy pin. It's Dozy 09. Do Dozy 09. Do like, Marzy Dots and Dozy Dots. Yes. And Little Lambsy Divey? Little Lambsy Divey. A Kiddly Divey, too, wouldn't you? Oh, you get, nothing is more timeless than Great Depression nursery rhyme. We uh, no. sung that in a musical as, uh, as a kid. Did it take place yeah. in the 1920s? Uh, no, it was 30s? a sock hop. Sock hop theme. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I had, it was actually kind of fun. I'm not one for dancing. The sock hop. 
and everybody was invited. It was titled A Pocket Full of Dreams, and we sung songs from different properties. Was it a school thing or a church thing, or what was it? It was a school thing. A pocket full of dreams. A pocket full of dreams. Dreamatorium? Huh? I said dreamatorium. Yeah. So it was a pocket full of dreams, and what we sung a candle on the water from Pete's Dragon. The, how, we sung some song at the sock, oh. at the sock, hop, hop, beep, at, bop, beep, bop. The There's hop? music and the something at the pump. That's at the hop. hop. We, but That's we, not at the sock, we, hop. Something. Uh-huh. And Did you do? We sung Blitz that song. Creek. <laughs> we didn't do Creed. What? I said Blitz, Blitz Creed Bop. Oh, I wish. Yeah. The Blitz I don't Creed know how cool your school, but I do actually. But, oh, oh. Let's go. That would have been cool. I would have loved that. Thank you for the first time winning any of my new favorite pins. Woohoo, Dozy! Yay! You are welcome. You are very, 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 very welcome. Thank you yes. for coming here and hanging out with us. Yes. We are lonesome folks, man. We, uh, nah, I'm good. I mean, that's good, but I'm a lonesome folk. And what sort of paints do you use? Acrylics. Golden fluid acrylics. They're my favorite. Sometimes I use other brands if I don't have anything handy, but this is usually what I buy. I mix them with water, and I like to have them very flat and dry and smooth, and I kind of treat them like watercolors, and I kind of treat them like oils, and I probably don't treat them like acrylics, but it works out. That's why I'm never really super into doing, like, step-by-step tutorials, because whenever I do, people tell me I'm doing it wrong. Which is, and I don't mean that in a mean way at all or to make fun of people, but it's like I'm already do it <laughs> no, for a living bad. and I have done for a long time and it's, but it's okay for what I do. Can you show so me I, how to do such and such? Um, excuse me, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, yeah. and that has happened to me so many times. Do sense. they hold it one finger like this, Jasmine? Excuse me. I can doing it only wrong. assume because it's usually people on the internet, but yeah. I hate when people That's do why that. I'm not a teacher. Firstly, I am. I just, I, no. I, I don't engage with that. But it's not. I don't either. Entry. But I'm happy oh, for it to let people see what oh, I do. I'm not. I don't ever want to tell people like this is the oh, way to do oh, it or whatever it. because it changes. And also, I change what I do. I don't do the same thing every time. And I think people expect one to do like it's formulaic. And maybe it is for some people. Maybe it will be for me when I'm older. But it's not for me right now. I got going kind there, of crispy. Thanks for thanks for letting me know. Hmm? I needed to start the raffle. Oh. Oh, yeah, the next one. Oh, but we don't know what the prize is, though, because it will be the prize wheel, right? That's right. And I'll, I'll demonstrate. Will you Let's demonstrate Let's pretend it? if I if I got it in there now, I Let's would win. Let's pretend a... it's an hour from now. Let's and pretend it's an hour from winner. now. What would Matt win? win? I would win a... Oh, wait. Sign print of the week. So I point at the window when this happens, right? And I'm pointing at the... Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. Vienna White. What? Is she still on that show? It's not her birthday, Jasmine. We don't talk about people when it's not their birthday. Is she a Gemini or not, man? I don't know. Let me check. I'm going to go to the bathroom. You can keep talking or not. Let me see if this thing's working. I'm going to say it like I'm mad now. To keep the energy moving. Okay. That's okay.
All right, we back. Yeah, we're back. Okay, camera working good. Looks good. Yeah. Mm, it's working. Face working. Yep. You better work. <laughs> so I. I'm not beat, even a I beat the Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah, for those of you who are worried, Matt did beat Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I got all, all got all the 120 things. I already think I. Already and you that. got the motorcycle. I got the motorcycle, and I. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we talk talked about that, but yeah, I, I think beat we did. Ganon. Yeah. He was like, he was easy. I, I didn't have any problems beating him. I'm I no didn't spoilers, get to see you were at the other house. He was not. He was not as challenging as some of the some of the other things in the game. Was he as challenging as Ganon sometimes as in other Zeldas? No. Oh, really? Less. I thought he was easier. I think I had already mastered the game. You think he's growing soft in old age, or you think you're that good at playing the game? Like you were that. I was that good at. at it. I was that good you, at playing it. Yeah, because you I played eventually it a got lot it. longer than you could have yeah. done, right? So, so I went out and I went out. I, yeah, I stayed went in out to the internet, <laughs> and I went ahead and got Skyrim. So I'm. I know that some. This is. Uh, it is Twitch. He can talk about video games. Yes, okay. it's PlayStation. Well, I'm telling. I'm. Yeah. It's about it being an old game, not about me talking about video games that I was given. Oh, when I talk about old games, I don't think of like 2013. 2013 is considered like an old game in Duck Hunt. I mean, it comes back around eventually. So, hmm. like, uh, if you played Legend of Zelda, that may not seem I classic. Did. But if you played something that was a few. Hey, Cruella, thank you so much for following. Oh, thank I you like very your name. much. Okay. So, um, I started playing Skyrim. Talking about puppies? Huh. And That's I. Do you like puppies, Cruella? Cruella loves puppies. Isn't there a movie about it? She likes puppies okay. in a different way than I like puppies. It's like how yeah, people like salmon in a different way than I like sea life. I like when people defend Cruella de Vil. It's like, but she's she's so fabulous. It's like, yeah, she, she is she, very she wants fabulous. To kill puppies. That doesn't mean that you're not like a serial killer for puppies, but <laughs> you know, she's pretty. She's fabulous. a serial puppy killer. Absolutely. 
And she's not, yeah, she's just, she's you know, if you, said pu- if you said puppy serial killer, would it sound like you were a killer of puppies or you were a puppy? It sounded like that you were a dog people. that went around. Ha, ha, okay, ha, yeah, that's in my head. I was, I was watching some documentary and they kept talking about a child serial killer and they're talking about somebody who was killed. They meant, meant a serial child killer because a child serial killer would be like Jesse Pomeroy or something. It'd be like a kid who was murdering people, right? Oh, or is yeah. that an adjective? You're the writer. I don't know. So that way somebody's is asking who won the pin. Dozy 9 won the pin. Uh, Foxy. Mary's the Dozy That's who won. That's who won the pin. You just need to say not you. No, don't say that. No, I wasn't. <laughs> not you yet. So anyway, I started playing Skyrim. Skyrim. And it's it's similar. It's got the open world concept. Similar it's, to Zelda? It's similar to Zelda, oh, okay. Breath of the Wild. Uh, it's got an open concept world open world concepts and i much like when i started zelda breath of the wild i have no idea what's going on has anyone ever requested something weird for jasmine in the paint oh, that's a loaded oh, question yeah um be- anything that you can think of people have asked me to paint and probably then some i have a lot of no's i have to tell people yes many things yeah lots of things yeah. <laughs> i uh, there have been things i painted that i've not put my name on in the past so, there you go. Yeah, I'm waiting for Breath of the Wild 2. I know that there is a game coming out that's uh, a... I can't remember what the sort of game it is, but it's basically got all the Hyrule characters, and you're running around it and you beat intended? up a bunch of enemies. Oh. Is it like a temporary? Or like a stopgap in between the main Zelda things? I'm unsure where... Um, I, I think it takes place 100 it, years before. Is it like how Final Fantasy Tactics came out? Kind of? It's not quite like oh, that. Okay. It's like, you know, uh, in... Uh, you know how uh, in one of the Matrix movies, agents there's like a million Agent Smiths and Neo beats up, beats them up. It looks like that. And you're beating up like I know the end of America. You're yeah, one but character and you're beating up armies of people. Okay. That's I, what it I looks don't like. know. Is it um, Age of Calamity? It's Hyrule Warriors. There's a term for this, and I can't remember what it's. It's got a weird term, and there's so many money games that, gouging. It's no. there are many games that are similar to this. It's not okay. money gouging. I'm teasing. But now I'm not getting it. Oh, I'm well. teasing. Baby, uh, buy all the damn video oh, games well. you want. You know it. I'm teasing you. What What was... <laughs> no. It's a I, I want people to buy video games all the time. It's yep. good. It's good for artists. It's good for writers. It's good for... Uh, economy. Reuters? Yeah, Reuters <laughs> News. The AP effing Independent Wire. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. For writers and creators yeah, Anyway, and I got Skyrim. Um, Brian says it's good. It's a wonderful adventure. And um, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm running around. And I finally got to this one large town. And this woman challenged me to a fist fight. Much in a Red Sonja fashion. And I beat her in the fist fight. And then suddenly she's my friend. And we're now we're in a dungeon. And we're... And we're broadcasting on Twitch. We're no, broadcasting on Twitch. No, yeah. We are. I don't understand. It's like you're telling your origin story or something. Oh. Sorry. Not... Oh. I'm going to talk about video games. But I don't know video That's games. That's good. I'm, I'm cool. Well, I like it when you talk about video games because I don't know about them very much. I know about old video games in a boring kind of way. But I see you play things and they look exciting. Yep. I could just watch Zelda. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a... That's a good game. Well, or like in the Skyrim that you're showing me. I mean, I like that you can go up like under trees and there's little plants and you can pick them. I know that's not a big part of a game for people, but I like that open world sort of idea where you can just kind of be silly and not have to follow a time that's counting down on a video game. I'm not a fan of countdown time things. I'm not using good video game language, am I? Yeah, uh, speaking of countdown, it, okay. there's What do you a, call it when there's a countdown raffle. timer? On I'm video unsure game. what you mean. When you're playing a video game and there's a countdown, like you've got three minutes. Time now limit? Got, a time, time limit. limit? Okay. Yeah, you're talking about usually like a... Games from the past 30 years or something. Yeah, where, yeah. where you like, have to complete a level and then two uh, yeah. minutes. Yeah, exactly. that's a time limit. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. I like the What's great is that you don't have to follow the story yeah. for progression. You can just wander the world. Says yeah. Brian. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like you could just kind of pretend to be there and walk around and look at the neat forest and animals and not even have to go fight things if you didn't want to. I think about video games differently than other people do, I think. Sorry. Yeah, it's, it seems fun. I, I don't have the mechanics down very good. It, it's funny because There's a lot when, there. when you were showing it to me, it, it looks so much like an MMORPG. Like it reminds it's online. me of that and how you craft yeah, things. I expect the other people running around to be like other player characters, but they're they're not. They're NPCs. Yeah, just this random mage, snow mage or ice mage or whatever he was. Oh, yes. Novice ice mage. Oh. Sorry. Got my That's, that's hair okay. In my pants. Do you need bright to take a break? And bright blue. No, it's fine. Okay. My Getting kids just know you buy red, buy and ride horses in Breath of the Wild. That's all I know of this game, uh, Cindy. Yeah, it's a. Uh, That's a lot of what I've seen of it too. Actually, it's been Matt doing the fun things. I did like uh, that. see that all the am amiibos that I have for Zelda will work on Skyrim. So treasure chests will again fall from the sky. Brian says it's very Dungeons and Dragons like. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm picking locks and I'm doing like that. It seems like the cool thing is I'm not necessarily any certain class. That and that's what I thought was kind of cool because I was asking you. I was like, well, you have a lock pit kit or lock picking kit. Are you like a thief? Can you be? You have spells? Are you a wizard? And you're like, no, you can. You're kind of just like anything. It happens very organically. I think that's kind of cool. Calypsoni says horses are my life in that game, and I have 300 hours. Oh, wow. uh, which game, uh, Calypsoni? Because I saw that you could buy a horse in, in Skyrim. For a thousand gold, they suggested. A Breath of the Wild. Okay, so Breath of the Wild, uh, yeah, I have, um, I never got that big white stallion. Oh. There, I guess there's a white stallion you can get. You got a motorcycle, though? I got a motorcycle. I got the motorcycle. What was the other animal? Is it a bear you were riding around? I was riding a bear deer? once, yeah. Did you ride a deer once also? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I rode a deer and I had to ride See, a deer. See, I'm more like, what sort of animals can you ride around on? I don't care as much about and the And I had to ride a deer animal, to uh, complete a, a shrine quest once. I won't give it away. Oh, World of Warcraft is pretty good. I, you know what, Foxy? That's that's. I don't want to. I don't want to talk to other players usually too much. Maybe some other family members. Oh, you mean you don't want to play online like live right. with people? Oh, Sadly, no. you can't ride the moose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got on. Um, hey, Calypsoni, did you uh, did you ride the uh, the the king of the forest? I did. Because that, that was really cool. See um, deer. But yeah, I uh, oh you haven't rid, rid uh, the King of the Force. He's a uh, you'll find him. He's in a really uh, cute little place, and he has all these uh, magic bunnies that are around him. Aww. Yeah, he looks like something from a, a Murakami. Oh, not not a Murakami. Uh, wait, Miyazaki. Miyazaki, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Oh, it's not my first Darn language. Us in our it's not even my ears. ninth language. No, it's I don't. Mur I was Mur gonna say, yeah. Mur no, Mur like Mur hey, but you know what? I could actually, I could see it in maybe something he'd do too. I don't know. Hey, Mandy, if you're gonna say hello to a room, what would you say? Hey, yo. What? Miyazaki? No. Uh, at any rate, yeah, the, the, uh, or is it Lord of the Mountain? Lord of the Mountain? I think that's what it, Lord of the Mountain. I apologize. I think it's Lord of the Mountain. Lord of the Forest is a white elk that lives in the forest. I'm probably confusing it. But anyway, he's really cute. Uh, and he's got a he's got a strange face, though. Aww. Okay. But yeah, he looks like something from Princess Mononoke. Oh, okay. That's what he reminds me of. Aww. And you ride him around. And I I showed him to the... I rode him down to the stable and I tried to register him as a horse. And the guy's <laughs> like, uh, I think you just cursed us. So. Huh. Uh, but I don't know what it's like to get a horse in Skyrim yet. But I could buy one for a thousand gold. That's what it said. That's I saw you play it a little bit yesterday, and it said it had options for you to talk to the dude, and you're. It was like, sure, I'd like to start off the offer at a thousand gold, and that was one of your options. So it's not like you could have said, I'd like to start the offer at five hundred gold or whatever. But it sounds like you find gold on dead rats and I, stuff. I, in that I game, did so find some gold on, on whatever. dead rats. Yeah. Which makes, which reminds me of random finds in D and D. If you use that system, 
If you have a D, if you have a dungeon master who is just all about rolling a D one hundred to see what you really find and you really get the one percent things on dead forest animals, then yes. So Sephric says Breath of the Wild was heavily inspired. That's Brandon, by the way. Was heavily inspired by Princess Mononoke. I, I see that. Yeah, totally. But yeah, Skyrim is. Uh, I didn't know that. that what's Skyrim's Brandon's cool. name on here? Sorry, what's that? I, didn't know, I didn't know what Brandon's name is in the chat room. Sephric. What is it? I didn't know that. Okay. So would you say that you're talking about? Brandon. He doesn't chime in very often. He's quiet. That's okay. No, dude, I just Ivy like, Poisonous no. says, "Oh, for Skyrim, a beginner's tip is to use a niece's cabin as a free house and storage. It also has alchemy lab and goose dragon spawn." Oh, I don't know well, who the niece is. You're like a Darlene's house or something, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> I, forgot I was her. at some house in Riverwood, and they're like, "You can use the house as much as you need." Um. Well, that was Darlene, and that was the um the woodmill, the lumber yard. Yeah. Thing. Okay. And that's why it's yeah. Uh, Brandon told me got... after he's like, "Well, which guy did you follow in the beginning?" I'm like, "I followed the guy that looked like the lead singer in Nickelback." Cause that's who I'd pick. <laughs> I did, but I didn't see Wait, that. I didn't see that there was another guy. I feel like the guy from Nickelback. I'm gonna go the other way now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'd say no offense, Nickelback, but yeah, offense meant. <laughs> Ooh. I'm thrown down now. I do not appreciate their music. They might be wonderful people. I'm not a Nickelback fan either. I'm not a fan of their music. At any rate, uh, yeah. So he he looked like the Nickelback dude. And I followed him, and there was a dragon. And this isn't really spoilers because it's in the first. Four it's like in the cinem cinematic screen. And yeah. then I hopped out the window and died immediately. Yeah, that's what I. What did. color are the eyes going to be on this piece? I don't know. What's the dude from Nickelback got? No, um, I blue, I believe. I mean, actually, I might make this a blue. dream. Show I, I actually, I'm on this one since I am trying to kind of keep with the palette again. I've got the obligatory pink orchid and also the obligatory hummingbird, so I'm gonna have it kind of a neutral tropical background. So if I have her eyes, since I want the hummingbirds to like super pop and look jewel toned, I might make her eyes kind of a more misty gray brown, not a super saturated color, but with a lot of depth to them, if that makes sense. Because I want the hummingbirds to be like the brightest gosh darn things in this painting. I want it to be like, oh my god, does that look like little pieces of jewelry glued on there? No, it's a hummingbird. So I want the eyes to be really present, but not to take away from things in front of them. So I won't keep them as saturated. That was, I don't even think I said a color in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. There you go. Yeah. Simple question, loaded answer. Oh, a loaded judgy answer that you were not anticipating. <laughs> I, I want people to be almost afraid to ask me questions. No, just <laughs> kidding. I don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> So, all the, I, we listed all the famous people that were born today. Um, I wish that we could talk about events that were coming up. That's usually what we usually would do. We it's like, do. hey, and we're going to see you all on like, Sunday. Cool that hasn't happened we did this weekend. It's like, I just sat around and started 10 more paintings. <laughs> just... Yeah, I mean, mm. I, I, honestly, it, I've been, when I go to the grocery store and stuff, and I go to a few other places, but I think it... It would take a while to reintroduce me to, you know, I feel like a, <laughs> a like a, an animal that, you know, it's like, hey, that you know, they've been house fed for a while and you have to reintroduce them to the forest. It would take- Like if you take one, like to the yeah. nature center, it's if we like, had a line, a, a, a if we had a with a broken wing. <laughs> yeah. If we had a line in front of us right now, I'd feel a bit intimidated. I have to get back into the swing uh, of things. Yeah. I'm not mentally prepared for it right now. So I, think I, that, I wonder if anybody will get mentally prepared for that again. I, I, I wonder if I, I don't know, man. I mean, it's going to take me a. This has been a stranger a that's going to have a lot of effects for long after. Yeah, because this usually, year is I, over. I I do what I do is I try to get myself worked up. Yeah. Tell myself I'm going to do a j good job, for and then work off the for... energy of the crowd. And that, that for, often helps. You mean for a live events? For a live event. Oh, okay. Not for, see, for Twitch, it's really hard to work off the energy of the crowd unless you're talking about the cats. Franco Itzeropspe. Thanks for following, Oh, Franco. thank you. I'll just I thought call you were Franco. starting off. Yeah, like in um, Pumping Iron. Yeah. Different Franco. I'm a fan, though. 
But yeah, it's it's kind of sad. But at least we have this thing, right? At least we do have this. And and I have actually been, it might not, you probably can't tell because I look like I'm yelling at the wall all the time, but I have been enjoying my um, Oh, Crowdcast. Crowdcast. I want to talk about Crowdcast. Yeah! So guys. Yeah. No, I, I, we, I probably so, should have that here, shouldn't I? Yeah, but, um, um, yeah, Crowdcast is basically, it's like this, but without Matt. So you don't have the chat room, you don't have the mics, you get to see my face or my hands in this thing. The, the videos are still here. You can yeah, see I've me just paint put the link the in the room. Yeah, put a, a link up. Is it the link that goes to like... It's a link that goes... It's the... Whatever the newest Backslash is. Strangeling. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's my page up there on Crowdcast. It only works if you are a Patreon... If you follow me on Patreon, which seems like it's kind of like a trick to get you to give me a dollar, and it kind of is, but I'd like your dollar. I if think, you give me I a think... dollar, then he can watch it forever in... It's Tell also that good to for HBO Max. Already, man, you know. I always thought of yeah. it as a perk for already existing people. Oh, of course it is. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, if there are people here who are used to watching me for free on Twitch, they're like, "Why would I watch on the week?" It's like, yeah, it costs a dollar. So basically, the camera setup's dollar. different. Yeah, it, you don't it, hear... yeah, the camera setup's the same. The mic setup is different. Right. There yeah. are no mics. There are no mics. There is music. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, there is music now. There is music. There is yeah. chat. But and I was trying to figure out if I could put my own music on it, or I wasn't sure. I think you totally can. Huh? We can. Oh. Not music I made. You don't yeah, want you to hear like that. Yeah, you can like pop up some Led Zeppelin or something. Yeah, that's what I mean by my music now. Because it's just a, um, it's a, just a gathering that's not, it's only patri patrons would see it. It's yeah. Not, it's not Nobody a, could see it if they weren't. A right. It's not a weird yeah. event like the, a public event or something. Because you could be anonymous and just come across this video, for example. Oh, sure. On you Twitch, could not yeah, yeah. do that with yours. It's there's a there's a. Oh no, there's like a special. There's link a bouncer. Uh, mm -hmm. A guy taking tickets. There's a bouncer in the. In the there is a bouncer yeah, on that one. There not, is not on. Twitch, not really a bouncer, uh, but there's the guy taking tickets at the door. A gatekeeper. Yes, actually, it is. I think Literally. that's even a, the, I think yeah. that is the phrase one yeah. would use for that sort of program. Yeah. So if you guys want to join up with the keymaster, that's patron. Zool. Patreon. No wait, that's not. Then you Zool. can get through the gatekeeper. Huh. Or something. I already made a Zool joke. Oh, I didn't hear you. Zool. It was quiet. Yeah. Yeah. There is no. Uh, I didn't even say that. Dana. Before. What's her last? What's Dana's last name? That's two syllables. I'm trying to think what it is. Vast, no, not Vast. Dana, Dana Weaver. No. Do you know, know what Sigourney Weaver's real name is? No. Do you? Her real name is not Sigourney. I think it's Susan. I could be wrong. I think she picked something more serious because she wanted to be an actress. And she's like, Susan sounds too girly or something. Yeah, Barrett. Dana Barrett. Dana Barrett, yeah. That's right. I thought you were tricking me because of no, the, I forgot. the Barrett joke. Okay, yeah. Anyway. But yes, yeah, her real name in real life is Susan, though. I think. Yeah. Huh. I'm going to have to go to bed. It's 11.30 and I have to put the dogs to bed, too. Yeah, that sounds complicated. <laughs> well, good night. Night, Helen. Good night, Helen. Enjoy your Enjoy time Spain. In, in Spain. <laughs> yeah. And I hope you're picking up the language. It's a good language. It is a good language. Whether you're in Spain or Florida, it's a good language to know. My Spanish is probably getting worse since I haven't traveled as much. Yeah. In your family, you haven't seen your family that speaks Spanish for a while either because we've been stuck here. It's it's just a great language. And it's spoken in a it's lot also of countries. An, it's a language I think makes a lot more sense than some languages. I've learned kind of a lot of languages and Spanish is more straightforward than a lot of things. It's got a good Latin root to it. It's got a very helpful range of pronouns that is inclusive of plurals and singulars which i feel english doesn't have unless you say y'all all the time like i do which is not something i would I recommend do. you do but y'all is not good english but there is I, I know you is plural and you is singular but just saying you is singular sounds wrong you know i don't know Mi esposa es you is singular <laughs> now martina Huh? I said Mayo Martina. Why were you singing? I said Mi Esposa Es Bonita. And I said Mayo Martina. Yeah, yeah, that did kind of sound like that. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a Bob's Burgers reference. Yeah, because I've only made it's like 11 funny. for no apparent reason. This, I haven't even watched Bob's Burgers like recently. <laughs> Spanish. 
Yeah. I love hummingbirds. They were my mom's favorite animal. I so love Stevie. hummingbirds. They're little magic, beautiful things that show up in your life. When hummingbirds show up, I, I always gasp. It is. It's <gasps> like you suddenly Jeez. see yeah. a leak, and it's like they look like a digital video effect that shows totally. up in your the corner of your eye, but like for reals, and you're like, what's this magic sparkly thing? And it it, it reminds me of like when you see a. Like a super cool, like a blue morpho butterfly, like out of the middle of nowhere, and it's like all iridescent, and the light's hitting it, and you're like, is anybody else seeing this, or what, you know? Hey, I will say that when what? I am the guy that's right alongside someone else gawking, um, I, I'll also gawk at the animals. I, it's like, hey, there's a, there's a something here, I'm like, oh my <laughs> god! So if, if you ever want to, yeah. like, get my, if you, if, if you ever want to get my attention, like, don't lie to me, because I hate being Don't lied. talk about April Fool's. Duh. Oh, no. or maybe you should. Mm. It's not a mean April mm. Fool's. That was not... Everybody else would agree it was not a mean April Fool's. I promise you. Kind of like seeing a dragonfly. I love dragonflies. I love too. dragonflies, too. They're magical, too. They're what magical. breed of hummingbird are you choosing for this? Asset? I have a... I have answer? put three in here that are real hummingbirds that have come to our house here in Florida. We have four types of hummingbirds that come to our house here in Florida. And I have drawn little pictures of them and I have them, but they, they are not here with me right now because I did not expect to be doing this here in my Florida studio back last year when they asked me to do the show. But there are three types of, one is emerald, one is ruby throated, and I forget the other one. That is one of the other two types that live here in Florida. But I'll look it up and let you know. I'll definitely know before I finish the painting, so I can let the bird conservancy people know too. So what, they're like the bird. What is our niece one. Ellie's April Fool's joke that she gave to her? Was it to her oh, grandma? She was a. She was so. It's two. cute. She was. This is two. adorable. What did she say? <laughs> she said there was a bubber fly on the chandelier, which are both complicated words for a two again. 24 month old. She, you know? That kid talks over. Her scared. first time I heard her talk, it was a sentence. I mean, it, and it was insightful. I mean, she's a smart little girl. Well, I don't know a toy. Huh? Was it I don't know a toy? No, it was but it was that same visit, well, but it was before well, that. Yeah. It was um That was so funny. Huh? It was when there was an annoy on the on the back door. And oh. she said, Bibi, crack crack, go. <laughs> and it was her noticing that an anole, it's like kind of like a little gecko that lives in Florida, croc, croc. was on there. She knew it was a reptile. She knew it was little. It was a baby croc croc. And she was trying to tell it to go so I could open the door. And I was like, wow, Ellie, I haven't heard you talk before. Her mom, Kachina, says that the first time Ellie talked, she said, birdie fly, and pointed at a bird flying. Aww, so that's well, animal things. That's yeah. My, my, some of my first talking was a lot of animal crap, too. Yeah. Yeah. So any rate, any rate, yeah, she uh, that was her her that April Fool's nice. lie. <laughs> that there was a bubber fly. That on there was the a bubber fly on the sheet. My like, April Fool's lie to Matt that he won't let me live down is that there was a chicken in the backyard. I don't think that's mean. I was like, holy cow, Maddie, there's a chicken in the backyard. Run downstairs. There's a chicken. It's like a rooster. Hmm. He's in the backyard, Maddie. There's a rooster in the backyard. I, okay, but and my I was God, do you know get... how happy I was? I was like, oh my god. And I, I, I was like, this I don't is know the if I was wearing clothes. There's a rooster in the backyard. I'm like, oh god, this is I my wanted stupid to see, April Fool's I joke. wanted to say, oh, there's a chicken. And I'm like, I was almost crying with happiness before I got to the door to look out. And then there wasn't a chicken. <laughs> and I was like, oh my and god. And I thought that was not a bad And I walked April away Fool's like, joke. I thought it was not with mean. With my head down. I, I was so sad. Was, I didn't think it was something that I'd be. Uh, it's me. Yeah, I didn't think I'd have to be excusing it years later <laughs> it's me <laughs> to be fair the reason i came up with that april fools and why i wanted one that was not mean was because the year before that i said that somebody had had a problem on ebay and they were filing a report against you. oh my god i remember that that was mean that was mean i, I should so, not have done that and that upset yeah, me is which is why the next year i thought i'll bit. just lie and say there's a chicken in the backyard and that that won't be mean but you have you probably forgot about the ebay fake thing but you probably have not forgotten about the chicken thing because you still talk because about i want the chicken to be in the backyard and then you went to the airport like around that oh time, there's a chicken and there was a rooster yeah. in the parking structure at the airport so you know at least you got to see your chicken yeah 
I love chickens. I like going Your to Key West and chicken seeing chickens. Dad's got a chicken farm. You can look at chickens all day there. His, he doesn't treat... He treats his chickens there sweetly. Are free but range, free range. But they're not like... They, they can come in the house. But they're yeah. not like petted and, and kissed enough. I kiss them. In the Tampa Bay area, there are chickens who roam the streets in Ybor City. Yeah. I love that. All over Florida, that makes me there cozy. are at least chickens. For the record, folks, there are wild chickens in Florida. So it is not like an insane lie to say, hey, Maddie, there is a chicken in the yard. It might be a thing that happens. There's if certainly a lot of wild like turkeys in, about. Yeah, yeah, well, sure. Or like, look, like when we're down in the Keys and stuff, there's yeah, like, you go to the great. gas station, there's like mama chickens, we have 25 baby chickens all over, and the cats are just like eating them. It's a thing. It reminds me of like a, a sad food accident. Well, I think people left, well, didn't, <laughs> it's probably urban legend, didn't pirates, like, leave chickens in Ooh, the islands around I love seeing hill Florida? cranes. Yes. Isn't that a true story or is that fake? I'm sorry, somebody mentioned sand hill cranes oh. and I wasn't listening. I love sand hill cranes. Me they too. They dance. I call oh, them they emus. Scale, they I scare Brandon. Emus. I think he, 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 uh, uh, I think he left the room, or he didn't leave the room, he, he texted oh. me, he's not in the room for... <laughs> Right now, he said because we're be back. talking about Sand Hill. Cranes. But he has a bunch of uh, he Sand Hill cranes near his house, home, yeah. like walking around, and I like took pictures of them because I love. Yeah, them. and for people who don't know what Sand Hill cranes they are, are they're tall. like five feet tall. They've got a big red Beautiful head, and they don't—they're super endangered. But for some reason, around our I neighborhood, they're all over the place. So it's like everybody's like, save the Sand Hill cranes, and we're like, oh my god, these jerks won't get out of the way of my car. But I love them. I love them too. They also love me. dancing. If you play music out of your radio, they'll just, people will put it on YouTube and stuff, and they'll just start dancing. Hey, Calypsoni, are you are you a Floridian then? Because I don't know who you are. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. If we ever don't know your name, oh, in, uh, when I lived like, in Kissimmee you know, years ago, or well, something. okay, yeah. <laughs> when Easter fell on April Fool's Day, I got, got I told G I hit hit Easter eggs outside, but I hadn't. He looked for an hour. He thought it, it was hilarious, though, when I told him it wasn't true. Oh, oh that pissed me off. I, yeah, I, I would not be able the, to pull that. The out thing is, I he would. He would I think that up. I think that confuses people yeah. because they think I'm generally like goofy and stuff. But I, for some reason, he gets that, his hopes up. The, really? Yeah. With my hopes are uh, no, I no. Mm, that'd make me so yeah. sad. I'd be like, no, why? Why did you lie about a chicken? I was gonna get the chicken. We were gonna, like, have a day, have a picnic, have some dried corn, like, in an envelope. It was gonna be great. I, I dropped some chili dogs on. Yeah, you did. <laughs> what does that have to do with that? They're a veggie chili dog. But yeah. So, well, what April Fools have you done on other people, Maddie? I this don't isn't even effing April. Why I are we don't. About this? I don't okay. remember doing it ever. You I, have. I know you did April Fools. I'm trying to think. What you have did I done? April Fools. I stopped on doing me it when I was young and worked at a restaurant in Kansas City, and you told me that somebody had called asking if I could go in. Not the time you called pretending to be oh, somebody. Oh, that was funny when I called. Not the pretend. time you called pretending to be somebody. That was oh, different, God, that was and great. that wasn't even April Fool's Day, and that was so much more mean <laughs> than a chicken in the yard that did not exist, I, I or a butterfly on, on the chandelier. What? I can dish it out, folks, but I can't take it. Yeah, that should be your middle name. <laughs> That's. I don't care. But yeah, that was That's that was funny. <laughs> when I called up and pretended to be what's her name? What was her name? She's probably dead. Pat. Yeah, yeah Pat. <laughs> She's got to be dead. And she sounded like this. She sounded like Droopy, the dog, yeah. like that horrible dog. Yes, on the, she did. Or the, the so I called Jasmine up. I was at the frame so shop like, with. Um, this was like with, I was a teenager still. Yeah, with yeah. my friend Brett. I was at the frame shop and um, <laughs> I'm like, hey, do, do you want to call? <laughs> Can I call a uh, Jasmine? My, my, a, were you my, I wasn't your we, wife yet. I was still okay. Kid. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna call uh, Jasmine, <laughs> and I'm gonna pretend I'm Pat from work, and I'm gonna tell her she has to come in. And I like, Jasmine, Jasmine, and Jasmine's like, Awful. what? What? Yeah. They're <laughs> <laughs> like, let me just come in, Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> It was so. Uh, she funny. was not a good person, so I don't feel bad saying bad things about her. But, but yeah. Oh, and then you oh. thought you had to go, and then oh. then Brett and I just started oh. laughing. I used to prank call people. I was one yeah, of those kids. See, that was some. Uh, see, I think that's worse than. Oh the yeah, April it's Fools probably from awful. Your own person that lives in I your house it, saying, though. "Hey, look, there's a bird outside. You didn't expect, but you might see on a different day." That is different than calling somebody pretending to be their employer 
okay. on call to show up. It's at a true, job. but but I just want yeah. to explain when I was when I was coming down the stairs and there's this the chicken in the yard. I was there thinking that I was going to plan the day around the chicken. That's what I was saying. And You're I was going to like and get some dry yeah, corn and, and I was going to like damn day have this fantasy of me and the chicken being friends and and I would pet the chicken and it would come back there every now and then. There was a montage in your head already. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's okay. Yeah. I just. I just wanted a chicken friend. I don't know. I don't know, man. But yes, uh, I, so I am not. A, I am not a fan, and I, I don't. I try not to go on the internet on April Fools. I just don't like it. I don't like. I, I don't want it. <laughs> but I think it's because you are that way to other people every day. That's not April Fools. You know, I'm not though. I don't. I don't know if I am. Maybe I am. <laughs> Okay. No, I'm. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Hey, you remember when I had that cool Christmas adventure for you? Yeah. And we ended up my, my friends and we like fought with lightsabers. That was mm-hmm. fun. Oh, that was good. Plastic, real-looking cockroach placed at the foot of the bed under the sheets. I almost killed my husband. It was 1997. We were newlyweds. Oh. I never have done anything since. Oh. Wow, you're still in the bed. That okay, the is. chicken thing is funny. Oh, it's not. No. <laughs> well, I thought it was not no. only. It's not even that I thought it was funny. I thought it was harmless. Because of the fact I made him feel bad about a work thing the year before. I just. I thought it was something that. I thought it, I was being like Ellie and saying there's a bubber fly on the chandelier. Oh, you know? I think Jasmine should get you a chicken for Christmas. Not a cooked one. No. Not a, a vegan one. one. A sweet but little a one, Jasmine. It could be friends with Dundine. Yeah, I, I'm sure Gamera would be really good. <laughs> our be, cats would be so good friends. They could with be birds friends that we let into our house. And I could have the chicken, and oh, and when we're watching, Jesus um, we're watching that. true crime. I could just like slowly pet the chicken yeah. and tell its stories. And that'd be lovely. Mm-hmm. Go to Florida and get yourself a palmetto bug if you really want to scare somebody with the roach. Hey, we were just talking about that last. We were week. talking about palmetto bugs last. Time. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me anymore when I see big birds or wild turkeys on the side of the roads in Florida. <sighs> oh, no, no turkeys. Wild you, turkeys Brian. you see everywhere. I would see those in Missouri, but it's like the the sandhill cranes are really big. Um, we we get the herons and things, but we get um, there's a bunch of them. When you see like 175 great blue herons, it's so different than like being Missouri and like seeing one in a creek or something. You know? I remember seeing a lizard like, in in uh, Missouri when I, I caught one, mm-hmm. like, and it was like. The event of the week. Exactly. It's like, oh my god, it's got blue chance. Now it's or, like, I can't it, walk. It's like, I take a picture, I'm going to do a project on this next year in school. Now it's like, oh my god, I can't even walk until after 10 o'clock outside. The iguanas because are like that in Mexico. but lizards until my garage and I just don't want to step on them. You know, it, we get so many here, it's ridiculous. I love lizards too. I'm, and I never want to step on them. I, I wish there were, a, I wish there were a tenth as many. <laughs> I wish they were the same amount, but they lived in trees instead of my sidewalk. Well, God, I wish they were the same amount, but they'd like, they'd like build bleachers and sing I wish little they liked choir answering songs answering and stuff. emails and like packaging yeah. pens. <laughs> and have little towns and I could have quests and talk to the lizard people and befriend them and Isn't that a video be an ambassador game? to them. I don't know. Isn't that Breath of the Wild or is that Skyrim? There are lizard people in Skyrim, but I, I know nothing of them yet. Who won the pin raffle? Sorry, I stepped away to walk the dog. Oh, I'm sorry, you did too. <laughs> Gosh, uh, uh, uh little pumpkin. Oh no, in? little pumpkin was. I I yeah, don't I see the TV, so I don't really know. Who won it? Uh, jo- Mox was it? Mos Dozy Dozy O Nine Dozy Dots Mersey Dots and Dozy Dots. Sorry, that's not why you're called that. I apologize. Dozy O Nine. Dozy. Maybe they're sleepy. Maybe they drink a lot of cum syrup. Everybody's always walking their dog when raffles happen. That's why I have cats. <laughs> no, that kind of is why we have cats, actually. We are not responsible enough to have dogs, I think. I think Not that, responsible. Not that. I don't mean to say that. I, I think that we know that it would... We would probably I think be, I know I'd be a neglectful mother of I wouldn't. Uh, no, and you're wouldn't allergic be, to dogs. I'm so allergic, but... Be, no, I think that... I think the fear is that we would be utterly attached to it. And then it would be like a, having a kid. Then it would be like having a kid. Yeah, and that's we would true. take. I would probably not shut up about it and love uh, that'd it. That'd be annoying for everybody. It. Yeah, I, but I it's love like it, bad but... enough. I 
force my cat. But I love on hearing people. about other people's dogs, so I don't know. I do too, but that's because I don't have dogs. It's like how I like hearing about my nieces and nephews. I like hearing about people's cats. <laughs> no, what? I like oh, I like hearing about cats. I like hearing about all. I like hearing about cats. I'll never meet that died two hundred years ago. I just like cats. That's yeah. different. Cats are different than dogs. Cats rock. Doggies are just your sweet, sweetest best friend ever. Uh, doggies are, and that's why I always feel bad for doggies. If I wasn't playing with them every minute, I would feel bad. My cats, it's like I feel like they're humoring me sometimes if I play with them. It's, it's like I'm not, it's it's back and forth. I feel like a dog would be there for me to take care of, and I would need to give, 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 and if I didn't, I would feel guilty. A cat, I feel like a cat's like, I'm humoring you by letting me hold me right now. Brian says, I could deal without palmetto bugs in Florida. They're the size of matchbox cars. <laughs> I'm not afraid I remember, of large bugs. I remember I like large bugs. filling like one of the planters in the ba our backyard with water. And like pal <laughs> like three palmetto bugs climbed out. Like, God, you guys were there the whole time. And they're like, surprise. Like, surprise. You thought At you least lived they in like a clean, beautiful outside. environment. You're filled with bugs all the Crazy. time. Yeah, I know. It's like every person you turn over, it's like their stomach is going to be filled with maggots. It doesn't matter. Nice. Welcome to Florida. Yeah. Palmetto bugs are an interesting, interesting thing. I like I like the nastiness of Florida, though. Mm -hmm. Me too. I like too. the swampiness. I like, I like to know if I look at it. a square feet of ground, I can find animals, vegetables, minerals, and probably a reptile, a mammal, multiple amphibians, and about a billion insects. I think if I and could that's get, important to me. Right. If I could get lost in an animal, it would probably be a horse. I think I could, me and a really? horse could probably be best friends, and I would like, I don't know, it just seemed like they could, they could just make, I don't know, make me very happy. They, I like there's horses something too, amazing I, about horses. There's something, I love horses very much. They're one of my favorite animals. The thing is, with dogs and horses both, it's probably me putting too much human bullshit, th or bull stuff thought into things, but it seems like they have been domesticated to the point, they it's almost like they work for people in a way, and that kind of makes me feel weird. Well, I... I and I worry that yeah. the dog or the horse would only be nice to me because they've been bred for, like, thousands of years to be well, nice God, that's, to me. That's a, totally how a dog is. <laughs> Yeah, dogs exist because people wanted a little dog. You know, yeah, it's a, they start off as wolves. No. It's, cats have not Where actually. The heck is sunshine? Uh, yeah, sunshine, Where's sunshine? Come here. Tell us how you're not domesticated kitties. You just happen to fit well into our environment. Are you in your hole? No. Sunshine. Sunshine's got a whole lot of places is she hides. Is she, she on top of the refrigerator? No. Is she? Oh, she isn't. Uh. Sunshine. Hi, Gammy. Sunshine. We already know you, Gammy. Sunshine, get out, get out here. <laughs> sunshine, sunshine. I can, I can seriously call her and she'll come here in a minute. But no, I, I, I know that's a trope to say, oh, cats like have their own opinions or their own agendas and dogs are there to be your friend or your companion. And that is true. But also in that way, I feel like cats, you can leave them unsupervised for four hours and not worry that they're going to miss you or that they're going to be bored, or they're going to crap in your house. It's like, like when I have friends who have dogs, or like my dad or something, and it's like, oh, i got to get back to the farm. I've got to let the dogs out. And it's like, yeah, cats go crap in a box, you know? <gasps> Is that my Diane? She's a little ball. She was sleeping. <laughs> Sleepy sunshine. She's like, who is this? What's this? What's all these lights? What are these lights in my face? Oh, you tiny little weasel. Oh, Diane. Tiny little thing. You're more of a ferret than a cat, aren't you? <laughs> Ow, she's putting her claws in my neck. Why is Kimmy being so Oh, she's actually asleep, sleep baby. She's like finding like you ever see like on TV when people find a chipmunk or something that's supposed to be like or a squirrel that's hibernating? You know yeah. what I'm talking about? And you like, they pick them out of like a cold storage because it's like a nature show and they're like in a, <laughs> a, a refrigerator. That's like sunshine when she wakes up. It takes her a while. She's got this cute little winky blink thing. <laughs> it's, like, it's like she's got her nicktoning membrane over her eyes still. Like she's still a crocagator or something. And it's, you know, the extra eyelid that kitties, their magic eyelid they have under their. Oh, Queen Tree says, <laughs> how's Frankenfoot? Any new collection? Your human foot. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, my real foot? My human foot? Yeah, I have a jar. Yeah. I foot. I, I have a lot of body parts stored around my house, but it's doing good. 
I'm trying to think what I've got recently. Not as many new things as we like I to normally look at them in, in, would because I usually life. pick things in real life and I have not been damn anywhere except like here forever <laughs> so since like the past year i have not gotten a whole lot of cool things for my dead body collections i've been using my femur as a mall stick though those i haven't done any broadcasting on my big easel yet but when i use my mall stick it is a femur bone and it is from that cool place we were talking about last time uh, in orlando the skeleton museum where you can buy human bones for free sure not free but with without feeling bad but it. for larger more awesome purchases go to darwin and wallace yes darwin and wallace good people do you have a link to their website i i can okay. i've done it before yeah and i used to have Our this friends, issue where i used to say darwin and walrus <laughs> darwin and walrus we already talked about wilford brimley wilford brimley diabetes walrus <laughs> diabetes walrus Wait, is that one, um, oh, what is, is that American, not American, not, is it Family Guy when it has Wilford Brimley? Yeah, who, who I, then like, I struck my wife. Who was, who did I, I, was it like he was intoxicated, or he was uh, Then I realized my wife had been done for five years. Who the hell did I hit? Yeah. But it's like, then I realized I was never married. Who the heck did I beat? <laughs> that probably has nothing to do with the real Wilford Brimley. It's an so imaginary character. It probably yeah. has everything. But Crispy says, it probably does, humans sorry. were bred to take care of kitties. I have gone on some rants that kind of go along that way, but it has to do with toxoplasmosis and the rewriting of viruses in one's brain. And I don't know if this is it's a the thing. broadcast for this. <laughs> but yes, I agree. Magic kitty poop makes you love you. Magic kitty poop makes your brain change. It's kind of a retrovirus that works with your brain to make you take care of kitties so they control you. Thank God for that little robot. I haven't went insane yet. Exactly. background of this painting i haven't put a whole lot it's still kind of that grayish generic tone i put with the gesso but part of the reason that is is because i'm trying to make this reminiscent of these again these are all different paintings by the same artist very famous artist from the 1800s um, martin johnson Heed, and i want to have that sort of background it's a wonderful sort of cloudy misty background that in the 1800s and the 1700s, in the early parts of the century, when uh, the last century, when you're going to show places that are tropical, it, I think it's trying to give a visual representation of the closeness of super humid air. Like if you step off the airplane in Orlando or like New Orleans or somewhere that is insanely humid and warm, I think that is kind of what this sort of dense fog sort of background was trying to show to people who had not been to these places in the world and trying to say, look, there's like plants dripping off of plants and the birds look like jewels and the flowers look like monsters and look at this magical, mysterious other sort of place. And I really dig that because it's almost like if somebody was a science fiction artist or fantasy artist now and you're going to paint things like, oh, this is what this planet looks like. This is what their flowers look like. But you're trying to show it to people for a reason. This was real life that was happening at a time. And I just really kind of dig that. So I'm trying to look at the color choices that somebody who was not from this part of the world would look at to try to show the atmosphere, which is something you don't usually see with your eyes, but you can show with art or you can tell in a story or write a poem about it or whatever. But I'm trying to leave this kind of a generic gray because I want a generic gray background that I'll be adding in light and mist and a thickness to the air that can only be shown by making other things more foggy, smudgy, and distant, and the closer things really crisp in high contrast. And depending on when I work on this, I might, when would I be doing a crowd cast next, Maddie? Probably Tuesday? Oh, it's up to you. Probably Tuesday. I think I've been, have I been doing every other day? It's like I do it Twitch like did, on Sundays. You've and done then it I Tuesdays, do... Thursdays, and Fridays so far. Tuesdays seem to give you a nice little gap between this broadcast and... Behoon Twitch and... Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, depending on... The, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I've got like a million paintings in progress at the moment. But this one, if I am working on it later, I will talk about that. If not, I will do my best to post some pictures like on patreon and everything else to be like hey this is what i've gotten so far post some work in progresses on my instagram 
Um, again, we will have prints and canvases and all that good stuff up on strangeling.com for everybody to purchase at any time in the future once the painting has been released at the bird, at the um, Taking Flight show at the Race Gallery in Manhattan opening on October 15th. Girl in the Mitten says, we've seen one of the paintings. It's at the DIA by us, Detroit Institute of Arts. Oh, which one? I don't know. One of, one of the uh, Martin Johnson Heath paintings? Maybe. They have a couple in Kansas City, but they don't have any. At uh, uh, the Nelson Atkins Museum, Maddie, that you've seen, they have one of his haystacks, and they have one. Oh, they have. The one I'm thinking of that is. He's done like 25 paintings called The Approaching Storm because it was a really good idea, and he just kept painting it because they didn't have good prints back then, I guess. But they have. There's a few of them. There's one at the National Gallery in London that is magnificent. It's one of my favorite ones. I think the other one that I've seen in Kansas City was a study for it because it was like this big as opposed to that big, but it was the same. Obviously, the same storm, the same river, the same thing. Again, I don't know if he just did color roughs and used that for reference. Hummingbirds and orchids, it's called. What, what, hummingbirds and orchids? Oh, okay. cool. Those, those are my favorite ones by him. He has done like literally two or three interior still lifes. But, Maddie, you've heard me go on and on. I collect nautilus shells and nautilus shells as vessels. He has a beautiful still life that is interior, and almost all of his paintings are landscapes or outside paintings. But he has one, and it is not even a proper nautilus. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a nautilus shell that is almost transparently clear and doesn't have stripes on it. Not, not a tiger nautilus. And it's got little bumpies on the outside of the shell, hmm. and it's like a glass. Did we see that? We saw it somewhere. It was in Munich? I don't Dude, remember. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh... I am interested in things of interest only to a few. I, I just have a bad memory. Oh, no. It's also really of interest only to a few. And by uh, a just few, a I mean couple, like five people. A couple minutes <laughs> till we get our, uh, we choose our winner. Or one minute till we choose the winner. Oh, for the, the spinning wheel. So our spinning, broadcast is oh, coming to a, wheel. Okay. a sh mm -hmm. eh, soonish close. I was looking at oh. some birdcast replicas up at Darwin and Wallace. Those are cool. Of, of skeletons? Of birds? Yeah. Or like, it's just yeah. their slow skulls. Yeah. They've got, I've, I mean, honestly, I have a lot of real skulls and real bones and things, but I honestly don't see that much difference between having a, unless you're using it for magical purposes or something. A, a broth. A, a nice broth. A, a nice broth. Yeah, I don't know. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> but um, there are cast bones that look exactly like real bones now. So I have all these like real bones and it's like, oh, I don't, should I like bury that and get a fake one to hang on my wall? Is that rude? I don't know. I guess the fact I'm wondering about it. No. Oh. Well, let me show this off to how I don't know how good it shows anything, but I want to show you what I've done so far. This is not much, again, this is not much more than a sketch, but if you are used to watching me work and you know how my underpaintings work and how much thought I put into the layout and the drawing and all that with my little brushes before I start slapping paint down, you can probably tell that a lot of the thought happens here and then I put it here and then it's like, almost a rote mechanism of putting the colors on top of it. So that part is not always the big concern for me as opposed to the layout of it. And the rest of it kind of just happens naturally organically. Sometimes I just paint, paint, paint and look down and I already see it's there and that's really easy. But I will definitely keep you all posted on this throughout this next week and we will have prints and canvases. And if you're interested in helping support the uh, American Bird Conservancy in the Rays Gallery in Manhattan, please, if you're interested in the original painting, Email lance at raise.com, R E H S. Com. Yeah, I put, I put it in there. Oh, earlier. you put it in there. Um, in the right now, I'm set up to get. <laughs> we're ready to pick that oh, winner. Yes! Prizes! Let's see. And the good. winner is. N. Goman. Wait, no, we're not doing that. Huh? Oh, I doubt the spinny will was happening. So I was and now we're, the we, we choose the winner first. <laughs> yeah, and then gotcha. We, then we spin it. Mm -hmm. So let's spin the wheel. Oh, portrait pin set two. Oh, really? Right. Number two. Have we haven't given that one away yet, have we? Wow. If you were one of the many people who missed out on this pin set, you might be in luck. Cool. 
yay. Or if you already have it, I bet somebody wants it. <laughs> so if you go up to, um, have we ever posted the, um, ah, the Facebook pin group thingy? Like the Strangeling Pins group for Facebook? Have we posted that here in the room? Uh, we've done it. I, 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 we've done it so many times. If you have a second, post it up here just so that people, if you ever okay. win pins you don't know what to do with, or if you got pins and you want to get more pins or you want to trade them for other pins, there is a really good group. It's not like I'm not really officially involved with it, although I started it, but it's like a place that, hey, if you have pins, you want to make sure you have official pins, you want to sell them, buy them, get rid of them, trade them for other people, give them away as prizes yourself, I don't care. But there is a group, it is on Facebook, it is called Strange, is it just called Strangeling Pins? I'll find it. I think it's just called Strangeling, like if you go to facebook.com backslash groups backslash Strangeling Pins, all one word, I think, or is it Strangeling Pins? No. Facebook.com backslash group for groups. Uh, it's, Here we go. I okay. found it. Matt's gonna Strangeling post it pins. Or if you like went to Google and you type strangely. <laughs> I have like Yeah, or you just on Facebook. I remember I couldn't remember what our or one of us couldn't remember our anniversary, so we just Googled it and it was faster. <laughs> yeah, I put it up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So there's a Facebook group. And if you have pins you don't want, pins you want to sell, pins you want and can't find, pins you want to trade you want to talk to people who like pins go up there that is all the pins all the time and it's official and we we have a few people who monitor it to make sure that it's not like i don't know scams or something i don't know scams and flams scams and flams man all that flim flamery yeah all right um and okay. also yeah. everybody if you want to watch jasmine cast, dur or, uh, cast during the week stream during the week uh probably Pro a couple cast. times yeah, probably, I'm guessing probably Tuesday and maybe yeah. a different day. But so be we'll, sure to follow follow her up at if you guys are patrons already. Yeah, if you're just follow this link and and sign up with her and then you'll like get notifications. And then you don't even have to keep track. They'll send you a yeah. hey, do you have this question? And and it isn't like Twitch where I'm talking and we're giving away stuff and you have to pay attention. You can just like put it. You up can on watch your Jasmine paint quickly. And just like yeah, watch. She Jasmine. actually gets I more paint things really done. fast when I'm not talking. I promise. People are like, oh my god, you like did a whole painting in four hours, and I paint really fast when I'm not talking. Okay. Also, you don't have to listen to me, so you can just watch me paint. And for those of you who genuinely are more interested in learning how to paint or technique and things like that, I would recommend watching that more than, well, watch the Twitch too, because you can ask me Yeah, the, uh, Ashley but says they're it's, both good. it's awesome yeah. how much progress she makes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If that's you guys more of see like it, go, like, a window quicker. onto what I'm doing. Because we're generally, I mean, Usually Jasmine's I painting right now, you can ask her questions, yeah. but we're bothering her constantly, so... <laughs> The best ever awesomeness mm -hmm. is following. Yay. Yeah, following. So that yeah, is, um, it's free. They tell you when I'm on Please check there. out Jasmine on Crowdcast. It's a neat little, it's a different way to watch us. It is. So, it's much more passive. You just stick it up on your computer when you're doing your own fun stuff. And then you're like, hey, I have a fun person in my room also it's crafting super cool. with me. It's cool. It's like we're not alone, even though we're all alone. All right. All so we and will then, see you folks later. Thanks, yeah, uh, the best ever. Um, they say this looks really nice. They just followed us. Uh, oh, thank you. We're at the end of our broadcast, but we, we hope are, you uh, hope you uh, we're come back join us next time, next in a week from now Thank on you Sunday. So much. And we're always here Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern time, noon Pacific, 20 o'clock in England. See you later. Bye bye. Bye, bye kitty. <laughs>